whenever you are, and welcome back through the mists and in to the tranquil vale that is Barovia. And we are here once more to continue our fantastic Barovia and beyond homebrew Ravenloft campaign, starting off with some shenanigans from the wonderful, wonderful people at the Arcane Library. Now, let me say some big hellos and a thank you to Zinnicus as that appears over his head. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> directly above your head, sir. Thank you very much. Nice. <laughs> thank you. We had a hype train this time. A little oh, mini, so mini hype train. No, no pressure, everyone. <laughs> Um, so, yes, we um, are jumping back here and joining our adventurers as they are struggling through a night of terror and evil foes raining down from the mountaintop above as we will jump right back into that in just a moment. As I say, I thank you to all of these lovely people for joining us. Not only them four on screen there, but you over there as well. I see you, Kyle, Planer at Allies. Thank you so much. Hans and Thamior as well. Good to see you all. Very, very happy to have you here and everyone else that's looking around. Thank you for joining us. It's always a pleasure to have you and over in the Vault Squad too, joining us on our adventures whenever you can. Thank you. Now, that said, let me say a proper, a right proper thank right you to, a right proper thank you to <laughs> the lovely, lovely people at Arcane Library who are sponsoring us during this use of their fabulous, fabulous adventure at night on Demon's Peak. Okay, Devil's Peak, sorry. <laughs> so the other one's a demon. I'm using two of them. I'm using two at the moment. One's a demon, one's a devil. We got them mixed up. But yes. And then we've got to go to Angel's Peak afterwards. <laughs> right? Uh, no, it's just so you can flip off. The, 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 the yeah, yeah, yeah. Way more aggressive than that one. No. Way more aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> so climb through the seven levels of Mount Celestia just to say fuck off. <laughs> okay. So everyone who's confused by that, uh, all, all of the players in my various games have a very anti Mount Celestia angelic host vibe going on. <laughs> There's one common denominator here just saying. <laughs> but, yes. Jesus, fuck you. Uh, thank you, Thamir. It's always a pleasure to have you here, too. And I was happy to catch you just a teeny bit earlier on. No worries, no worries. Good luck with all that work. Hope it's going well. Now, yes, the wonderful people at Arcane Library have given us a copy of tonight's adventure to give to you, wonderful people. So, I am going to be running that giveaway throughout the evening as I... One of these days, I'll get the iPads out from the, from the get-go and I'll be ready to jump right in. But that's then, not today. Then it just wouldn't be one of your games now, would it? Oh, cheers, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix are working, known for their lack of preparation. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, that is very not true. <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind. Okay. But yes, as soon as that is up and running, you'll see a little thing in chat that says, please enter. There you are. Thank you. Yes, Streamlabs has got Hello. me back while I'm busy doing things. Yes, we are <laughs> being sponsored by the wonderful Arcane Library, one of our absolute favourite publishers. We use their modules all the time. Very, very easy to read. Very nice one-page layout for each encounter. Um, important keywords in bold, so you can just quickly look at it and go, oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. And um, links to all of their very hyperlinked things to their either their beastry at the back of their module or to online resources of their official monsters. Very very easy and nice to use um, and you can have a copy of said adventure for yourself or for your hardworking DM um, and uh, let them um, lead you through the corridors between the shelves and the book stacks of the arcane library now I'm almost there folks <laughs> so close boom start the giveaway three two one Suppose. There it is. Okay. Entries for the giveaway are open. Please type in exclamation mark enter for your chance to win a copy of tonight's adventure. Which will be, yeah, it's, it's mild spoilers for we here, but yes, you too can have the chance to play through a night on Devil's Peak. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Or you could all just let Thamio have it. Because <laughs> the only one entered at the moment. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. A present for you, a present for my country. No, um, okay, sorry, speaking of ideas and vibes. Now, <laughs> let us carry on here and say thank you 
to some other fine folks as well, not only the Arcane Library. Actually, let me do the proper shout out. I need to do the thing. <laughs> right there, I need to do the thing in chat over here as well. Arcane, which means, boom, there they are. Yes, those wonderful, wonderful people there. And that is the link to their homepage. Lots and lots of incredible modules that you can use. Esmeralda, Xenicus, aren't they good? Fair. They are, they're wonderful. <laughs> Got lots out of them. Indeed. I just love the like how they blend. Like there's never just a single element to the game. It's not just like here's conversation, yeah. here's combat, here's mm -hmm. puzzle. It's always at least two or three of these all. Yeah, they're just having dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah awesome. and they have they have three they have two or three um adventure hooks at the start, depending on what kind of adventures you have. They have the heroic one, the material gain one, um different you know, for different types of adventures. And we've never used it because we always pop them into the middle of other campaigns, but at the end of every um, um, mini adventure they have future adventure hooks so ways that you could take that adventure and carry it on into another fuller ah, story so to so, start that like to start from there and then work into a campaign yeah, kind of thing. yeah. that's cool yeah. so yeah it's very very nicely sorted and ready for your gaming tables now um kusabi 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 yes kusabi welcome in and uh, nice to see you first Max? time first time chatter <laughs> hello Max kusabi. i don't think so i don't think so <laughs> um, but yes welcome welcome and um, good to see you there and uh, welcome in there um dear folks if you are not already do um consider giving us a follow um as we are um owners owners of a followers discord where you can come on over if you're a follower of the channel and hang out <laughs> no worries. um and you can um, hang out there and share any projects that you have going that's how i was able to catch famio's stream earlier as they posted on our discord there and um you can see what's going on share any pieces of art there's a, a cool picture of a dinosaur with spears and things in it <laughs> recently a dinosaur with spears sounds like a, mm -hmm. the best character I almost I made that character if for I was this. To watch with the T -Rex for my other campaign, that, like one of the one shots that we had. Dinosaur. I guess that's my fault. <laughs> yeah, DM, you need to show us dinosaur with spears. That's. <laughs> okay. I mean, there are plenty of places in Eberron that have dinosaurs, so we might just do really? a side trip at some point. <laughs> I mean, this is probably like a, a menagerie or something. This, like some. <laughs> Yeah. Like, like a the wonders of Corvair. <laughs> <laughs> and then she can wild shape into a house trained dancer. There you go. <laughs> I would not want to. I'm, I'm really bored with this. Okay. Any arms holding a spear. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, this dinosaur in in the arts um, channel was was being attacked with spears rather than wielding them nah. themselves. But <laughs> sad. No, subvert the expectations. <laughs> Maybe that's just a, a unique way of holstering them for, for handy use. <laughs> Pluck it from a his chest holster. and throw it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Let us stop waffling on and carry on with what we were doing. Um, so, a massive thank you to um, the wonderful people at the Arcane Library. This was what we were originally talking about um, for their incredible <laughs> modules and support during these adventurous times. Now. Speaking of people that we like to say thank you to and enjoy using in our games, let us also say a similar thing to the wonderful, wonderful people at Sirenscape. Head on over to sirenscape.com for your own free trial and access to all of their hundreds and thousands of musics and sound effects and things that you can use in your games. Now with a handy density search function, which makes it very easy to find what you're looking for. And then you, if you so desire, can become a Super Siren subscriber and have access to all of their fantastic things for all of your games, be they in person or online, scattered across the world like we are. You can s send the music and sound effects floating through the ether, well, dashing very, very quickly through the ether to everyone that is around. Um, and you can enjoy all of the wonderful, wonderful moods and things that that allows you. And then, also, if you enjoy having music and things in your game, you should also definitely check out a few of these YouTube channels that we are fond of. Namely, the wonderful people over at Dark Fantasy Studio, Travis Savoy, and Epic Journey. Fantastic channels with amazing music for all of your games in all sorts of um, themes and styles. If you head on over to any of the VODs on our YouTube channel, you can find all the links for that 
for our artists, for our sponsors, for all of the people. That's uh, very, very lovely and spent time. Oh, thank you, Stormfell. It is, yeah, Sirenscape is amazing. Um, so yes, the YouTube channel there and our Twitter is there as well, if you would like to see what's going on. We have lots of exciting things happening at the moment, some interesting one-shots coming up. A first for the channel coming up in the not-too-distant future, a non-D&D game, as we will be doing a miniature campaign, a mini run-through of a Deadlands game, and not run by me. I will be a player in that game. So, I, I will say no more, <laughs> um, but yes, do not miss that. That is going to be fantastic. And you can come and laugh at my American accent. <laughs> Should be interesting, as I play my root toot cowboy. Now, as I carry on here, sorry. Um, actually, I just saw today, um, with the uh, lunchtime stream earlier on, um, a modest number compared to all you wonderful people here on Twitch, but... We just hit a nice even 50 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> so thank you. If YouTube was as generous as Twitch, that would mean something. <laughs> Much more than it does. But it means a happy smile from me, as it's nice to have people um, catching up with the adventures when they can. So, Vodsquad is growing. Now, that's it. Let's just quickly remind ourselves what is going on here. Having trapped Strahd's essence, his very soul, away in a small puppet of himself, they felt accomplished, relieved. Barovia was saved, surely. But as they battled and chased away Strahd's minions from the gates of Castle Ravenloft, they discovered that things were not yet done. The mists did not draw back and boil off and dissipate, returning Barovia to its natural place in the material plane. No. Strad may be trapped, locked away in his own castle with his own parents. <laughs> but... <laughs> they have discovered that they need to re-consecrate the various sacred sites and return the spirits of the Ladies of the Fanes, the forest, swamp, and mountain fanes of Barovia, reinstating these arch fey goddess, goddesses back to their proper place so that Barovia may be returned to the material plane. And that is what we are all about here. Hey, Scarlet, and cheers. Now, as they are questing, trying to find the spirits of the Ladies of the Fanes. Spoilers, they might not be in Barovia, scattered throughout the I'm domains of Ravenloft. Yes, indeed. You can join us on our little jaunt through the domains of Dread, searching for these Ladies of the Fanes. And there are also things that need to be addressed here in Barovia as well. Xenicus has a sister somewhere in the Vale. I'm sure she'll escape and end up somewhere else and we'll have to chase her through the domains. It's <laughs> a hairdresser in I, got, I just have to, just have to write nothing. something down here. <laughs> okay. um, Asara is still searching for their friend and colleague from the Harpers, one Kamaria Shatamast, who joined them, well, was ahead of them on a similar mission looking for the children. Do it for the children. And you trying find the children. to find... You find the children. Congratulations. Remember yeah, the children? <laughs> we accidentally found the children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, accidentally completed the mission. It's like, it was in like Assassin's Creed and all those kind of games. It's like, you go and get the quest from the quest giver. It's like, ah, how convenient. I have already done this. Here is the, the item you're looking for. <laughs> just, just, just randomly completed that mission. Here without... are the children that we were looking for. We found them. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> like, uh, and that, that would happen in the game as well. It's like, please, adventurer, you must find our lost children. It's like, well, lucky for you, I have the right one in my pocket. Pull one out of your pocket. <laughs> yes, they like stood there, right? All the Is this your child? Time. No, that's not my child. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, so that is how we are going to go about things here in Barovia and beyond. So, let us also find out what is going on with Asara and the other drow they have discovered here. 
in Barovia. And Esmeralda. Esmeralda has various threads left to tug, and places to go, and things to do, and get sorted here in Barovia. Not least addressing her Vistani roots, and the connection with Madame Eva and the other. Very fantastically soundtracked Vistani. <laughs> <laughs> here in Barovia. Edgar is something of an unknown. New to our adventures, not in with us in Curse of Strad, a wee mapak that emerged from the forests, the Svarik woods, one of the forest folk from way, way back, residing here in the Vale before the von Zarnoviches arrived. Where is, where is um, Strad von Zarnovich? <laughs> They're not, not kicking around today. Um, anyway. He's high, he's been grounded by yes. my dad. <laughs> <laughs> that took her a few. <laughs> and um, yes, it is Edgar and his fellow Mapak that were the original worshippers of these ladies of the Fanes, and he will be their guide, as he is not only a rather funky spore druid, which you may have guessed from his rather fancy cap, but also he is what is known. I guess that's spoilers here. Yeah, buffs everyone. <laughs> so, just do it over the headphones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just, <laughs> doesn't quite no work. More. But hey, <laughs> he is what is also known as a fledgling, to be fair, Mr. Walker. There is another just, Mr. Yeah, Walker. He just gets up really <laughs> early for his jogs. <laughs> 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 Gets up really early in the morning. <laughs> no, Walker, but it's Walker. Oh, sorry. Just it's that, just that for daily, for his daily, like, like <laughs> power walks, power walks through the through the uh, through the mists. Um, I mean, if you're up early enough, then there's no there's none of the wolves and things. It's much better. <laughs> catch catch them in the wrong napping. Right. Anyway, enough ridiculousness and silly things. Let us dive into things as in this we left them here. here. On this on this channel? What? No. Um, <laughs> as last time you had defeated the harpies, driven them off back to the peak where Chernobog rises triumphant and roaring with fury upon the mountaintop. And they quickly ushered the charmed villagers back down into the church of the village of Borovia where they are seeking shelter from the onslaught of Chernobog's minions. That is when our friends Asara and Edgar arrived and quickly making their way over the fiery chasm that has opened up in front of the church. They made to go indoors, but there were a couple of other stragglers. The local stone worker, Roberto Trelvinovich. It wasn't. I just made it more oh. Barovian. <laughs> <laughs> I Barovianized it. Um, and, and his daughter appeared, stranded on the other side of the chasm, pleading for help as they were being chased by monsters through the streets. Using their magic to swiftly rescue them, they whisked them over to the opposite side, and that is when their pursuers arrived. Whites! mounted upon nightmare steeds galloping through the air itself cantering across the chasm and into battle with our heroes which was a bad idea because that got them all killed <laughs> and they were destroyed and driven back by our bold heroes here and they were able to head inside to the respite of the church at which point the What's the word I'm looking for? Um, the inspiration for the building of this church before it became somewhat linked to the Raven Queen later on, one Saint Sophia, the one charged with keeping Chernobog down and trapped in his mountain until the nasty bone grinder coven conjured a witch moon to blind her and break her magic, thus releasing Chernobog from the mountain. You know what? I am going to play the releasing of the Chernobog music. Because I can. Here he comes. Noisy roaring. Commits. <laughs> okay. Now. As he rose up and is towering over the village and the whole valley, you were 
greeted by a vision of Saint Sophia herself materializing through the solid wall of the church. She gave you healing and other blessings and most of all, perhaps, a vengeful golden sword for Asara to wield. And she... <laughs> Excuse them. <laughs> They'll be fine, I'm sure. And, and Asara now is in possession of this powerful, powerful relic, which can be used to fight back the evil creatures of the mountain. I was now, temporarily a level 20 paladin. Temporarily, a uh, for, the, for the purposes of unlocking the sword's abilities, but nothing else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, as we take shelter in the church ourselves. Ah, <sighs> relax. Hey, snail! Speaking of lucky, lucky giveaway winners. <laughs> I hope that's arrived safe and sound. Let us take respite and shelter in the church as you lovely people introduce yourselves to all those wonderful people over there in chat. Now, Starting with you, Edgar. Who are you? Who are you playing? And where are they at right now? As I bring us over to the map. Hello everyone, I am Mason, and I am playing Edgar Phelan, the Pax Spore Druid. He is quite, uh, a, has a unique mindset, uh, some <laughs> of the things he says, mixes between borderline cute and creepy. It's <laughs> false between the two, but... <laughs> About, about he also the seems to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it seems to not give too much of a care of what happened. Does he like ah, whatever happens, happens kind of attitude. <laughs> um, but uh, seeing these adventures that he has been searching for, he is prepared to get started uh, on the journey the ladies of Fanes have sent him on. Thank you, Esmeralda. Who are you? Who are you playing and where are they at? Hello, my name is Marin and I am playing Esmeralda Devanir, the reborn Vistavin Blitzing Battlemaster. Just quite a mouthful. It is. Uh, where am I at right now? Uh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We've, we're not super thrilled about not having an after party from killing Strahd and jumping right into <laughs> a giant demon taking down a mountain. But at least we didn't catapult the toddler last time, so that's that's good. Yep. Yep. It yep. was an option. <laughs> <laughs> it was an option put forth by chat, I think. <laughs> it was not. We did not go that route. There's still always potential. I do have catapult for the record. L right 99. <laughs> oh, hayo gozaimasu. And Zenicus, who are you? Who are you playing and where are they at? I'm Michael. I'm playing Zenicus, the Eladrin um, blood hunter, Order of the Lycan. So he is a werewolf. And he's, he's in a, a strange place. He's, his best friend just flew away. Just flew away. There, and he's got to deal with his angry big sisters. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> so, on, on the overlay too, you're sandwiched by them. <laughs> my, yeah. uh, skull, skull. One of them who just has to always just one-up him. He becomes a werewolf. She becomes a werewolf. He gets a fancy new sword. She gets a fancy new sword. <laughs> <laughs> Other than True. that, he's doing, he's doing great. He's, he's, rad. he's running the high. His, his mm -hmm. master is clearly hiding and not dead whatsoever. He didn't just fall to his doom. He's clearly just hiding. <laughs> hiding. Only hiding. Just, just, having a, just, just having a little rest. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. So, I. So, I'm determined to sort this here okay thank you um finally last but not least by any measure in fact greater than some hey just Ouch. do nothing it's been a while Ouch. i like how you just do that straight to you Ouch. I, know that, I mean if there's anyone else who's going to take down that who else is it going to be <laughs> um, um asara who are you who are you playing <laughs> And who are they better than? Uh, who are they, who are they right now? <laughs> um, I am Stephanie. I am playing Asara Bell, who is a drow rogue. Um, very velvety drow rogue. And um, I am 
unintentionally one-upping Xenicus in really <laughs> quite the younger sibling fashion too. That's the worst. Mm -hmm. so and that's not our that's not our it's dynamic. Naturally. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this. Take it. I don't want your shitty palace. <laughs> um, yeah, I am. Um, I am coming back after a long time suffering in a cave. So, well, and okay. meeting a raccoon that I am now. I'm like just looking at Marin. Like, don't leave. Please don't leave. <laughs> I can't. That's you. <laughs> the okay. two very serious ladies. And then right. Very, Fun boys. Someone's gonna hold this group together. <laughs> yes. I, I love the pause there before the choice of fun boys. <laughs> <laughs> useless boys. That's not true. No, that, that was just. I've me been Craig. pretty useless recently. That was me, Craig. You could otherwise. <laughs> yes. To be fair. Yes. Edgar seems to be actually useful. Right hands. Hands, <laughs> hands makes a very good point. I'm Chris, here. But it's do nothing. Has a fantastic username. And I, I learned later. I learned, I learned later on, as we as we were um, enjoying it and talking about it in the stream where we first met them, that they were considering it something else. I was like, no, 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 keep it. It's it so is good. good. It is good. <laughs> okay, the good to see you, um, and good to see you, Hans, as well as always. That map does not want to focus. Come on, it's right there. Church, church it up. Church, church, church. Bear with it, folks. It will be with you. It's nighttime. It's murky. But you were having a short rest, I believe, and enjoying oh, yeah. bathing in the radiance of Saint Sophia. Now, you are free to chat amongst yourselves. Edgar, you can now properly introduce yourself. <laughs> Away from the, the slightly frantic outdoors. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but who are you exactly? <laughs> well, taking a look. I know I'm not quite a normal creature, have you seen, but one of the forest folk here. Oh god, Esmeralda's not another Humblewood denier, is she? Humblewood. <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> sorry. It's not true. <laughs> I want to play a Humblewood character that's a Humblewood denier. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Humblewood I'm just is not a hedgehog. real? Who told you that? <laughs> I'm just a hedgehog. I don't yeah, know who told you that. I'm just an awakened hedgehog. Yeah, an awakened hedgehog. Yeah, the, druid, the druid's got me. A pirate's told me so. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Edgar, please. <laughs> but I've, the forest folk and I have been here for a very long time. Since before Strahd arrived. That's and like at least ten years. A smart young lad here. <laughs> ah, it's not a strong suit. I start liking Edgar a little more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, who exactly sent you? Well, the ladies of the Fanes, of course. They did. Yeah. Wait, you can speak with them? Hmm. It's normal for so you. So much. Every now and then they send me a little message somewhat. A hint. Ding. I see. Is it like a letter <laughs> in the mail? Or is it like a vision? Or is it like they just get someone to come up and say, Hey, the lady say you should go deal with this. Yeah, it's like, ding. You have one prophetic vision. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> pretty, pretty much like that. Uh, just like a, <laughs> just like a thing. To, one new message. Like, uh, <laughs> Go deal with these idiots. Uh, <laughs> every now and then. Uh, the ladies did warn me of new adventures arriving in Barovia. Adventures such as yourselves. Try and help us before. They warned you. Warned you. Yeah. I'm holding on to those words as well. <laughs> and my apologies, I did not arrive much sooner. As you see, I was busy taking care of some other things beforehand. 
I'm sure you have many important things to do with your messenger of the fanes. And you'll find more about it as we continue. But I'm excited to learn more about you. Please. What did they tell you about us? Just about the adventures. I do not know the details of you all. So please, I'm quite interested. Hey, I boss. I see many new faces. Hey, boss. Yes. The small slug-like mushroom creature on Edgar's cap pipes up. <laughs> His cute little face splitting in a rather vicious grin. When the bloody hell are we going to get sorted with this ease the land bollocks? <laughs> with time, my friend, with time, of course. Ah. The ladies have been waiting long enough. Would you get to introduce us? Yes. What, what is this? <laughs> get really touch, it. touch it. Yes. This is this is Sporlax here. Sporlax. <laughs> Is it Sporlax or Sporlaxia? <laughs> what was the full name? Sporlax. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sporlax, you have to relax. <laughs> oh, we rhyme now? I'm done. I'm done relaxing. It's time for action. Come on, Edgar. Like this Move guy. yourself. All right. Fair point. Fair point. I am the but... mighty Sporlax. And I am a campestry. Come what? Campestry. Is that a pastry? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is this a campestry? Uh, don't mention pastries. Those bloody hags up at the bone grinder. No longer bake pastries. Well, that's a step in the right direction. It's them what stole my beautiful singing voice. Is that common to your people? Do you all have beautiful singing voices normally? Oh, yes. Endless, glorious song. How did they come to steal yours? They're hags. That's what they like to do. Take away the one thing that gives you joy. So how could we get this back exactly? I think we should Defeat prioritize them. that. Slay them. Yank them from the ethereal plane where they are hid and cut off their noggins. <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. We should do it right away. Yeah. I'd like to hear a singing voice. I'm tired. As. Looks <laughs> <laughs> up from the back of the, of the, of the cap. Just like curls up on top of the cap. <laughs> you, you Out see of character, it, like... this is my favorite story element you've ever done, John. <laughs> ever. You, you see uh, on Edgar's little like mushroom cap, the parts where it's white, one of them's empty, and uh, Sporlax <laughs> just oh, pops inside. in there. <laughs> like... So cute. <laughs> that like spongy that hat. Go ahead. You can no, touch. Thanks. No. It is quite interesting, I suppose. <laughs> but I was going to go for resplendent. Mm, sure. <laughs> is it is it attached to you? I'm sorry, I don't really know much about your people. <laughs> <laughs> no, Esmeralda, the Myconids were at lunchtime. We were in the Underdark. There's a whole it's thing. Barovia, who knows? Mushroom <laughs> raccoon are not as their own possibility. One player came. This close to becoming a spore servant. Uh, it was fantastic. No. <laughs> it was so good. It's so good. <laughs> nay, nay, little one. And it like he over. lifts it up, like he has like very bald head and just two like beep, 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 like ears popping out. <laughs> He's bald? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 so like, he wears the hat just so he was born in the first place. It's very, like it's very Franciscan <laughs> hide the bald spot. <laughs> it's very much that image of Toad where like the mushroom part just off and it's just around. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> and you're meant to lead us, help us, 
Like we figure it out and you come along or you figure it out and we follow you. What's the dynamic here? Well, little one, a little bit of both. <laughs> we assist each other. If you need me to lead the way, I shall. But until then, I will follow yours. Well, you certainly know these parts better than we do. We'll be happy for your help. <laughs> We're following the bald raccoon. But, <laughs> <laughs> but of course, sounds splendid, little one. <clears throat> yeah, it's I'm, I'm doing this yeah, the whole time. He like, keeps saying that. I'm going like this to me, <laughs> and then like he says it to uh, to Esmeralda, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> little one thing. Is this like an age thing, or is it? Are you just like height blind? It There's is. It is because, well, I believe you still have much more things to learn as you grow with time. <laughs> so, uh, I roll so my ass. Arrogance not. thing. Cool. <laughs> How old are you exactly, if I can ask? You lose track <laughs> as it continues on. Like hundreds, tens of hundreds, thousands of thousands. <laughs> yes. That one. <laughs> <laughs> at some point. <laughs> oh, again, Denik is not the best at math. <laughs> now, please, there are so many questions about me, but please, I've yet. What do you want to know to about? To learn. Us? I want to learn. I want to know what I don't know yet. Ah, uh, yes, very specific. A riddler you are. <laughs> um, I once had a pet cat. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> it's a family pet. And you ate it? No, why would I eat it? <laughs> well, you know, the whole, like... It wasn't always like that. <laughs> See, what a fun time. We're all learning new things today. I just want to push him so bad. <laughs> just right out the door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what we could possibly tell you that would be of interest. I mean I yeah. I do locks and I'm sneaky. Um, he has a sword and he's a wolf. Oh wait, that's me too. Um, Ouch. You made it a running joke and now it's a thing, <laughs> Zenik. <laughs> so that was Zenik is going, Ouch. Yeah. And chat, chat also definitely thinks you ate the cat now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he likes pies, as you can imagine. Formally. I it's am the, the, the way we formally, formally like who pies, like pies. pies. Let's test it with the exposure therapy. Here we go. Ready? Pies! I mean, I personally do like pies. Oh, see, he's, he's buckling. He's buckling. He's going back to old ways. <laughs> it's already <laughs> tracking back. Already going back. Player versus character. Player versus character. <laughs> as long as they're meat pies, none of that fruity pies. It's the, the next, the next uh, step in character development in D&D. So, you know, player knowledge versus character knowledge. You know, player cravings versus character cravings. Exactly. <laughs> what is true? What is real? <laughs> uh, it all begins to blur. <laughs> Just Elsmerelda has a magic magic horses and Just a carriage. Don't hurt me, Zenikus, okay? Don't hurt me. <laughs> no more. There's the rundown. <laughs> I think you pretty much summed everything up. Yeah. <laughs> so magic horses, previously like pies, a bit of an ass. How interesting. <laughs> I'm quite pleased for now. <laughs> that definitely got out like the fuck. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> you went your reaction there, like <laughs> We're gonna keep this guy, really? This guy <laughs> out of character. Um Indeed El Hulk. Magic you. Ethereal horses. Two, no less. With an exploding Which carriage. <laughs> Too much. Which thankfully has not exploded yet. <laughs> Yes. Everyone <laughs> always specify. Under, we go under the carriage. <laughs> it's like, it's like the you open the door? No, we do not. <laughs> it's like the battery's not included things. Like explosives, not included. 
are this time. <laughs> they are included. I'm very good this with my traps. <laughs> keep, keep out of reach of forest folk. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he can reach. He's very small. <laughs> How tall are you actually? I, yeah, I was gonna say like, what's the exact height? Like, Just, are like, you knee the height or side? like eyes? <laughs> his... It's, I, I like, I, shoot, I'm not good with height. Uh, probably Mason more is so height blind. That's why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a little one. talking about he's gigantic. <laughs> and I was like, you just tall. I can see on my screen. <laughs> okay, where are they uh, up to on you? Because you play I. Yeah, I, I'd say, I'd say up to, up to the knee, yeah. you know, somewhat, the maybe, knee. but, I was but say, the little. cap makes it, uh, makes him appear a little bit taller with his muscles. Like, Mason, Mason, Mason let, me, let me give you a frame of reference. I'm 6'4", but I, you've never seen me outside of a screen, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we? No, he has. Did he we? Has. Was that, did we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah there was yes, that night. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so, like, so with helmet on up to, like, the waist of someone who's six foot. Yes. Okay. So Does, pretty tight. He's saying Snorlax. Snorlax count towards height as well. <laughs> no, he he no, into he's the, inside the mushroom. So. Right, just... He's like a little sort of capsule. When he thing. pops out, yes. <laughs> Does make noise he pops out? <laughs> Is there an E on the end of that? Uh that? No. The... Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron! So snappy, I like it. <laughs> that day. <laughs> yeah, Arjun, I see. I was I was tall when I was in England. <laughs> now I'm in Japan. <laughs> yeah, it's among men. Well, I always love telling like kids who are like, because Japanese kids are generally quite short. And I was like, I literally was your height when I was your age. <laughs> I just didn't stop growing. Like, like, there's hope for you and they're like nope there's no hope for us there's no <laughs> hope for us <laughs> we're done <laughs> I, I, I've met I think three definitely two I think three um, Japanese guys taller than me yeah I've met a bit two or three as well yeah, they're, they're, there's, there's a few the one ones. of them was 14 <laughs> wow oh my Dan. obviously he got a basketball scholarship <laughs> my my oldest is just shy of me at the moment what is oh my that goodness, that's now? crazy oh that is crazy <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so. Sorry. <laughs> focus, focus. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, you are in the church here. But that, I'm afraid, is when there's a bit of a ruckus oh, from out evil demons back. side. Yeah. Indeed. As you are catching up and getting to know each other in the church there's a strange noise as through the shattered stained glass windows you can see that the sky is starting to grow lighter dawn such as it ever is here in Barovia is growing closer and the end of Chernobog's terror is near at hand if you can yet Hold on just a little longer. Chernobog, the demon up on top of the mountain, lets out a resounding roar that shakes the entire valley, and the church's battered walls rain dust on the interior to the shrieks of the Barovians hiding within. A chorus of howls answer Chernobog from the rift outside the church, growing closer with every passing moment. What do you do? Like, how close are they getting? Are they, like... The sounds? The window? Yeah, or just like looking through a window. Okay, as you peer out of the window, several forms come clambering up over the edge and into the square in front of the church's walls. First, clambering up, scampering over the edge, their eyes burning, their mouths gaping with almost a hellish fire burning on their insides. You see 
several hellhounds, and then <laughs> massive skeletal arms with huge hands, clawed bony fingers, mantle shelf on the edge of the chasm, and push up, and you see a large flaming skull atop flame-wreathed shoulders and armor as gigantic burning skeletal figures also clamber up out of the chasm. Here they are. Oh, hello. Oh, you are there large. you are. Hi. <laughs> I like Sorry, how they had one eye and the other was just an empty socket. I mean, I was going to say that I patched for an empty socket because there's an empty socket in the other one. Like, that's great. They have powers <laughs> in life. They need it for the better dark vision, right? Pirate is a way of life, even after life. Shattermast! <laughs> <laughs> You've grown! <laughs> okay, so let me get okay. these dead whites out of the way. We! Um, dead whites. <laughs> These are Elhoff, they're just so keen, they're so keen to get their teeth into some juicy villages that come scampering joyously out of the chasm. <laughs> <laughs> I think, my friends, we we're gonna need to grab some initiative here. No, no, I'm just like, barricade the door! No, 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 no. <laughs> the, the door, no, we had previously barricaded it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When came in. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That, but, that was what I was doing when we were chatting to them. But it won't be as strong as it was originally because they did bust through. Right, they busted through the original door. Then, like, I remember, like, after we came back in and we were chatting to them, like, because I was still, when, when the little girl was scared to come talk to me again afterwards, that I was barricading it. Yeah. As much as we could. Ah, natural one. Stupid hellhounds. <laughs> Elhawk, you're right, they can't scamper. <laughs> no scampering for these hellhounds. Okay, um, so there we go. Bum, 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 bum. They all come climbing up there. I need to get the stat block for these big giant flaming skeletons. <laughs> Thank you, Femio. Rub it in. Why oh, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's, that's what we built the emotes for. <laughs> um, okay, so let me grab one of these fine metallic dice from our good friend Emma. And what is their dex? Not bad at all. Okay. So. Everyone got themselves in there. Thank you very much, everyone. And boop! Esmeralda de Avenir with Edgar on deck. What are you doing? I am going to use my bonus action to cast Blade Song. Oh, good. Uh, or am I? <laughs> uh, well, you tease. You tease. Jeez. You said it with such confidence, too. Or I'm just wondering, I? how close are we to Dawn? Is... You don't know. Do we get the sense Dawn is nice. I don't know how I mean, Dawn the, is. The, okay. sky, the sky is lightning somewhat. Lightning enough. Okay, well, in that case, I am going to instead cast Mirror Image on myself. Mm-hmm. Um, so now four of me uh, up here, well, three others of me up here, and we're okay. all of us going to go towards the um, block entrance up here. Um, how, is it just one square wide or is it two? Big wide open door. Yeah. The door is That's two nice. squares wide, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, um, bonus action, I think. Yeah, okay, I'm... That's all. I'm gonna to go to one of the, the door things and just lock them so get ready. Okay. Um, whatever may come next. Noted. Thank you. Edgar. With Zeneca Zondek. Okay. So I am going to use second level spot to cast Spike Growth. And so Edgar shall place his hands down and you'll see like vines come forth around and go underneath the door and form a little trap right there. Nice. Uh, 20, 20 foot cube if I'm correct. Nice. Okay, do you want to draw the that one there for radius. me? Uh, yep, yep. So. Can you, can you guys see the, um, can't see the grid on this anymore. <laughs> no, we can't. Nope. Right? I was like, where is it? 
What is going on? Let's sort that. It's on. Oh, the opacity is right, right down. There we are. Boop. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we yeah. go. Nice. So. Hello there, Grid. Hi, Grid. Twenty foot radius. So hi, hi, as we're older. You're a wizard. I know. <laughs> Seventy. Right. Growl, growl, growl. Oh. I'm not good at this. <laughs> well, you find people in chat, do give me a shout if that's too noisy. <laughs> I think I've got a handle on it, but uh, do let me know. Don't know how to take the shape away. Uh... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, so, you let me, can I do something for you? What do you want to do? Yeah, yeah, I, I was just going to you know, put it pretty much smack dab in the center where the statue is, the center with a 20 foot okay. radius. 20 foot radius uh, circle? Yep, yep. Okay. So, uh, right, let's do that here. Okay, so that is going to be uh, 20 foot radius. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's huge. Um, let's see here. Is that right there? Two, four, six, eight, all the way over there. And then, while that's being set up, while he places his hand down to cast a spike rope, mm -hmm. he also pulls out his little staff, and it's kind of like a toy lightsaber where, like, it just <laughs> as he casts <laughs> lately on it. <laughs> Notes it. Notes it. Um, now, how's the positioning of that? I can move it. Uh, that is. Yep, that is good. So yeah, the, so these these spiky vines and things just worm their way up between the cobblestones um, of the uh, of the main uh, courtyard there, and it, they kind of trail off over the edge. And you see some of them burning up and um, you know disappearing off as they get burnt up over the edge of the chasm there. But uh, the um, parts on solid ground are still there. Okay, Zenicus Guachin. Look at the barricade. These skeleton things look pretty rough. Like, they look big. Yes, very they're big. They're giant. I they're huge. Huge. Honestly, don't think the walls are gonna do much against these things. <laughs> I'm gonna feel that these guys are just gonna like walk, not come and try and get through the door. It's gonna like, like walk through the wall. <laughs> so. You can see the windows there, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to run and... And kind of like face off against one of these big scaly boys. Okay. In order to hopefully distract it from destroying the church and the foundations and crumbling this place. Go for it. So I'm going to... And as I run, I'm going to cut my sword against my arm. And, okay. And lightning Heartless. comes up throughout good, the good. sword. You're a bit quiet, mate. Sorry. Wow, I'm eating my microphone! <laughs> Eat it more! <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I say to you. Okay. I uh, entry, uh, entry, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I just noticed that. Uh, thank you so much. I should still be. I've still got my action, so I'm going to try and attack the big skeleton. See how badly this goes. <laughs> be my <laughs> guest. Um, actually, let me get these things here, uh, that and that. It's not great. Oops. Um, I'm guessing a 13 doesn't hit. It does. It does? Yeah. Cool, so that means I can only miss with a nat one, because that was a 2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing this is undead. <laughs> he just had a rough day. Yep, I, mean, I, need to roll a, I need to roll an extra dice if it is. So. <laughs> yes, of course. So. <laughs> it is a huge undead. The has been the fire. Does that mean I get to do Turn. huge <laughs> dice? You, <laughs> do, you, do you own huge dice? No. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Um, that is... That's pretty, oh god, that was a 
a one and one and a two on those dice. Oof. That is uh, twelve radiant damage. Twelve radiant. One lightning. One lightning. And one bonus radiant. So thirteen radiant and one lightning. Okay. So He's fourteen bloodied. total. He's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he has no blood. That's very true. Problem. And then second attack. Uh, I mean that hits. If the two hit before, then twenty odds is going to hit. And so I'm kind of going up and kind of trying to like use my like, like realizing that slashing is not going to work. I'm just trying to hammer away at the joint and hoping that okay. um, I can take him down. But that's going to be fourteen radiant plus three radiant. So There's no. They've got no resistances or anything. They're just giving the full the full thing. Okay. Uh, 14 plus 17. 18 damage. Oof. Okay. Now it is blooded. Nice. Okay. So yeah, you come spinning and just charging out of the church and tear into this. Um, did you vault out the window? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, and yes, yeah, just uh, lay into this terrible creature that just towers above you, ro roaring like that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and um, I think I can quickly get a little thing for you here. Um, da -da 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 -da. quickly do that. Okay. Thank you. Asarabel. What you doing? Yes. How about it? I am going to go up to this window. Oh, I am still the measuring tool, so I cannot move. Mm, that'll happen. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a window? Is that yes, right? Yeah, jumped, that's that's where Zanikas jumped out, yeah. Okay, cool. Here, um, Zanikas, this is you. Show him up. Show him up. Oh, you're <laughs> completely covered. Ta-da! Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> big. I was like hacking away at its shins. <laughs> is this you? You pissed off with Osiris, so you stole her bow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can have a bow, I can have a bow. <laughs> um, no, you can't. I... Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> I am going to, since this skeleton man is so tall, I'm not afraid of hitting Xenicus. Famous last word. Watching that height blind. Um, <laughs> natural one. Natural one. Natural one. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my short bow. Okay. <sighs> Give them a fancy sword. Dirty twenty. Nice. That's not a nat one. <laughs> That's not a nat one at all. No. Did you not hear me? Seven, <laughs> seven piercing damage, and, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do, do insightful fighting on this tall skeletal man. All right, what's that do? Uh, it's an insight check and it allows me to have um, my phone to go off in the middle of me talking. Uh, <laughs> wow. It's an insight check Very and it specific. allows me to have advantage on uh, this creature that I check against as long as they're not incapacitated. Okay, what number are you rolling against? Uh, Contested by the target's deception check. All right. How sneaky are these skeletons? Can't imagine, like, they're not really hiding well, much with all the bones. I right. got 13, so... Um, <laughs> deception would be charisma, right? Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> are they I not get... charismatic? I got 11, so pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> My minus, minus three. <laughs> 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 Okay, so that gives, you, that gives you advantage next time? Yes. No, For six. not just next time, but as long as they are not incapacitated, I have advantage. Nice. nice. Okay, thank you. And anything else on your turn? Um, no. no. I, well, uh, do I have partial cover? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll have um, in there. I, I'll, you'll have half cover there. Okay. So can I do sneak attack or that or not because I just did insightful fighting? Wait. You're right. Yep. 
Was that a bonus action, right? Yes. Yeah, so you're Except done. Okay. You're done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, speaking of uncharismatic giant skeletons on fire, mm-hmm. it is their turn. <laughs> so, Xenicus, this one lumbers towards you and lashes out with its claws. And the first one is going to be uh, Dirty 20. Dirty 20 does not hit. Nope. Okay, and the second attack is uh, 21. That hits. Okay, it's just... <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, it slashes at you with these claws, and that causes... Um, what's that one? Okay. You take 13 slashing damage. Jusan. And <laughs> five fire damage. Ouchie. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that just uh, lunges at you and attacks there. Um, the other one... Esmeralda, you're in the doorway, right? I'm in the doorway. Yeah. The other one bends down and tears a massive chunk of cobbles out of the ground and just hurls it at you in the doorway there. And it hits because they rolled a five. Oh dear. Well, we'll see. It has to, it has to roll to attack. True. Um, but it's good that, that it hits. Natural 20. <laughs> oh. I have if three you useless them, weapons let them ready fly, around. folks. <laughs> All right. Wait. Okay. I'm gonna Can I cast fly. a shield? Or is it too late? No, natural choice is going to hit, regardless. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm hit. Okay. Uh, um, it's been a okay. while. So, that's been a while. Um, so, that is... Let me get these dice here. One of those and one of those. But then it's a critical. So, I need another one of those and another one of those. John. Yeah. Okay, so why these. Why, why you? I... Why you? <laughs> why you? Of all people. Why? Okay. <laughs> How come? Trusted you. So yes, you peek well, the out. Chosen one. Marveling. I think you're distracted by the, the wondrous vines and druidic powers of Edgar as these things sprout out of the very ground you're, in front of you. I've seen this before. I don't know why. Edgar, you're, you're seeing, you're admiring your work. You're like, ah, yes, yes, it is fine work. And, oh, no! It's just a... Like, <laughs> 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 as they get smacked. Uh, well, is, all right. Could be worse, could be worse. That is only... Ten, 17... Plus three, 20 bludgeoning. Okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. On 40, 10? Yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yes, 20 bludgeoning damage as this lump Ow. of cobble just beans you on the side of the head. Ah! Okay. Um, and then it is going to not be very intelligent and come charging across the space towards the doors. <laughs> um, what happens when it goes into the space there, Erica? So every so it's difficult terrain, and yep. every five feet he travels, he yep. takes two d four damage. Um, okay, so roll me uh, forty four. Okay. For that point there. So. Woohoo! That's going to be fifteen. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Um, and what kind of damage is that? Sorry. Uh, that is, I believe, piercing. Let piercing, me double check. Right? Uh, Makes sense. Yep, piercing. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. So fifteen, is that right? Yep, yep. Okay, so this thing this thing's just like just comes from that, it's kind of like unbalancedly kind of like t- t- teetering forward towards you, just like his arms flailing angrily towards the door where Esmeralda's standing, and then it's like ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> it's like stepping on Legos for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. Deforce. <laughs> okay. And then, with a howl and a yammering and a slathering, the hellhounds start charging. Now, this one would have been here, so that's going to go... Um, one, two, three. So that's, got, that's traveled th- 15 feet there, Edgar. Okay. So that's going to be... This one's okay. So, that's going to be 20 piercing damage. 20, oof. And keep those dice handy, because <laughs> they're not going to 
be clever about this. <laughs> uh, this one, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, um, six squares. That one moved. Okay, so that one's going to take. Uh, okay, so that one's going to take 32 piercing damage. Nice. 32? Nice. Yep, yep. Okay. Then, as you're gleefully looking at these creatures, these monsters hurting themselves on your magics, there is a smash, and the window over on the west side of the door there breaks as one of the hellhounds just comes barreling through it and charging at you. Uh oh. <laughs> um, and, um, sorry, that was 33, you said? Uh, it was uh, 32. 32, thank you. Okay, that one is bloodied. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, thank you, thank you. Now, as that um, happens there, we need to get some attacks going here. So, first, um, oh, actually, no, I say, I say attacks, but why attack when you have a fire breath? Okay. So, um, Esmeralda, Edgar, and Zinicus, I need dexterity saving throws, please. Okay. Nine. I should have got Blaze on his head advantage, but here oh, we are okay. in that timeline. And one more as well, Esmeralda, please. There's two coming at you. Oh, okay. No problem, I guess. Sixteen. Okay, nice. Nineteen. Okay. Edgar? I cast shield on this. Uh, it's not, there's no attack roll. Okay. I don't know how this works. Edgar, how'd you go? Uh, my apologies. Uh, what was the roll again? Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw? That's a uh, 13. Okay, so... Edgar, you take half, so it comes smashing through the window, opens up its large, dripping maw, and you can see just the heart of it burning embers glowing like the base of the chasm outside, and then it just just erupts forth this fiery breath, catching several of the pews alight as well. And you take... Oh, that's a horrible roll. Um, let's see here. Um, you take eight fire damage. Okay. Sixteen, so, half to eight. So, uh, as a reaction, I'm going to cast uh, Absorb Elements to capture some of the incoming energy. Okay. And you see it kind of starts to absorb my staff, so I have... Uh, resistance to the damage type okay. until the start of my next turn. Cool. So yeah, you dive out of the way of most of it, and then you absorb half of the rest, so that is eight reduced to four fire damage. Okay, um, Zenicus, you also managed to dodge out of the way of this creature's breath, so you take half as well, so that is um, t 22 down to 11. Uh, ouch. So 11 fire damage. Yeah. Esmeralda, the first one you do not dodge... So you take the full, which is 21 fire damage. Ow, okay. And then the second one you take half. So that is um, 12, 18 reduced to 9. Okay. So 33 total. Awoo! And that is their turn. Now. Esmeralda, Xenicus, Asara, looking out from the window. You, as we get to the end of the round here, see four more hellhounds. I don't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> and... Hang on, let me get this sorted here. Uh... Da, 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 da. Two more skeletons no way. climbing up and out of the fire. It's like one whopper and one more whopper. <laughs> <laughs> there and there. Okay. And um, that brings us to Esmeralda's turn. Okay, well, given that, I will put Blade Song on. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, so that's my bonus action taken up. Um, and then I'm going to do some attacking. Um, 
sorry, Edgar, is it concentration on the growth outside? Uh, correct. Okay, give me Let's a constitution see. saving throw, please. Yep, yep. Uh... Oof. Yeah, that's only nine. Dang. Okay, I'm afraid the plants wither and die. Yep. The strongest source of damage, unfortunately. Okay. Which I will now attempt to get rid of. <laughs> go away, circle. Oh, okay. <laughs> There Be go. gone! <laughs> Be gone! Okay. Thank you. So, um, moving on, that brings us, um, yes, to Esmeralda's turn. Um, let's get up close and personal, shall we, chat? How, what do you prefer, everyone? Let, let me know in chat. Do you, do you want, like, a, a kind of zoomed-out overview like this, or up close like this? But in the right place. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I'm joking. Up close to our, our uh, zoomed out, your choice. Um, okay, so, Esmeralda. Blade Song is activated. Ba-ching! And I'm going to do some attacking. Um, first off, I'm going to attack the giant skeleton to, I guess, my right. Yep. With my rapier. Go for it. 21. Hits. There Okay. Um, and so that's going to do... Thank you, Maharishi. Six piercing, but I'm also going to use a little of my... Um, Thanks, I can my superiority dice. Okay. To do a menacing attack. It needs to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh, God. Right. But it's not very good at these. <laughs> Three. <laughs> it fails. It is now frightened of me until the end of my next turn. Um, it also takes an additional three damage. All oh, right. Oh, and thank you for the follow, Um So that's the total damage there? Eh? It's only nine. I rolled abominably. I rolled a one and a three. Okay. Um, however, it is not friend to me to my next turn, and I'm going to use my second attack to go after the bloody hellhound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, um, in your experiences of monster hunting and the, and your uh, you know your um, ex various adventures that you've had against the undead, that's even though um, like a piercing weapon like a rapier would feel like it would be you know like strange like you know it's going it's going between ribs or whatever but um there is actually um you know there is actually this magical essence that surrounds and animates the whole skeleton um, that is damaged by weapons such as yours yep <laughs> and i'm happy with that um <laughs> so i'm going to attack next with my hand axe because i suspect fire is not going to help very much all right um oh i rolled a two because oh. mine does not hit that will not hit i'm afraid Oh well. Anything, anything else? You tried. Um, no, I've done. I think I've done everything. I've done my two attacks and my bonus action, and I'm not okay. going anywhere. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, which brings us to Edgar with Zenicus yes, on yes. deck. So, Edgar will go on and smack this creature here with his shillelagh empowered <laughs> staff. <Bad dog. laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be 15. Um, that hits definitely. Ooh, okay. So, in total, and because uh, I absorbed some energy, it is an extra d6 damage, so that's going to be a total of 15. Okay, total. what was the d6? The d6 was 4. Is it the damage you absorbed? Is it fire? Uh, correct, it was. They're, they're immune to fire, I'm afraid. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> As it burns in their bellies. Um, so without the d6, what was it? So uh, without that, it'll then be. Oh my goodness! I said 15 earlier, so then it would be 11. Thank you. Okay, so yes, you leap up from the roll and the tuck and dive that you did to get out of the way of the fire here, and then smack it with the shillelagh, and uh, cause a bit of trouble there. Anything else? Uh, that is about all. So I will end my turn there. Thank you. Okay, Xenicus with the Sauron deck. Xenicus is going to try and take, cut down this big skelly boy before the others reach them. So. Mm. Oh, that's going to hit. That's uh, 22. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a better roll. That is so just all together, yeah. Um, so let's go 
24 damage coming in to the big scaly boy. Nice. That's hacking away at his... 24? Yes. 24, yes. Tell me what happens and make it epic. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so, what yeah. hap I, so what happens here is I kind of cut away at the one leg and as the like the kind of knee comes off it kind of falls down <laughs> and it's about to timber back into the the lake yeah. uh, of fire but as it does you just see like Zenica's like blood just kind of pours out of Zenica's arm and it becomes like a marionette <laughs> at, of, of the skeleton and he it just kind of uses it and he kind of picks up the skeleton with this kind of like strings of blood and then this skeleton does just as it falls there's one last sl slam against the the dog next to it as i nice. use my blood um what do you call it my blood mallet fantastic oh sorry everyone one problem with the uh zoom in is i sometimes forget to shift you guys so the one just to the, to, the one that's next to the cliff i'll say just because it's hitting it as it's falling and slamming down as it's falling backwards Yes. So I'll, I'll roll the d20 for its attack, but you'll need to say what the rest is. <laughs> no problem. It's, uh, that's a 15 on the dice. 15 to hit the... Um, the dog or next to the... The, the dog? Yep, that hits. Cool. Um, um, and know. that's that's with its claws, yeah? Yeah, whatever its basic yeah, it's attack is, yeah. Two, um, two d8s, please. D8. Okay. That is a four and... Uh, six. Okay, so that oh, it's plus three, so that's thirteen slashing damage. As its claws rake down the side, you see the shimmer of fire from within as the wounds scape open on the side of the hellhound, and then it just t tumbles back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. And back into the into the fiery chasm below. All right. And then uh, that's my first attack. My second attack, though, I'm going to do what I forgot to do. And first, I'm going to use my bonus action to go werewolfy. Okay. So I roar. Like, as that happens, that blood soars out of me. I, I kind of howl and kind of glee as I kill the thing, and I'm going to <laughs> transform it. Nice. So, doggo versus doggo action. <laughs> kill these guys. Change. Look at that. Spectacular. Okay. And that's, uh, ooh, uh, that's, uh, 14 to hit. 14 on the one closest to you, of course, yep. um, is a miss, I'm afraid. It nimbly ah. just kind of ducks out the way. Woof, that's indeed, I'll hook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you're done? And that's me done, yeah. That's all right. Okay, I'm going to do something that is kind of a gamble that I hope is worth it. Go for it. I am going to cast Darkness over here. Okay. What's and the what's the deal with that? The rain, the radius it's and a, stuff. It's a fifteen foot radius. Circle. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And um, it says magical darkness spreads from a point you choose within range in a fifteen foot radius sphere for the duration. Um, the darkness spreads around corners. A creature with dark vision can't see through this darkness and non-magical light can't illuminate it. If the point you choose is on an object you are hold, none of that applies. Um, <laughs> and then if any of the spell area overlaps with an area of light created by a spell of second level or lower, that spell that created the light is dispelled. Okay, now where do you want this? To keep them, to keep them uh, away. Okay, so confuse them and keep them in the dark. But it would be bigger than that because it's a fifteen foot a radius. radius. So, excuse me. Yes. So it would be from shore to wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my bad. No, you're okay. One, two, three, four, five, uh, two, three, four, five, six. There, I think. Two, four, six. yeah, it's more like that. Okay, <laughs> much more stunky. Can't can't see do not want maybe we'll see <laughs> like there um yeah that's perfect that's just right. fine notice yeah. notice um all oh, right so yeah um so they just can't see through that yes okay Correct. anything else um well since i did insightful fighting on that guy i will go ahead and is it 
who can I, can I only see these hellhounds? I um, can't see this dude, right? Yeah, you can see him if you go to the if you go one to your right, and like peer out the window. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna peep. You can, you can, and like, you can like like one, down on one knee on the windowsill, like with the bow drawn. Actually, you know what? Because these doggos are everywhere, I'll go ahead and do insightful fighting on them. So it's my uh, insight against their. Hey, I'm thanks so for that follow up with them. Um, against. Now, will that give you um, advantage against all of them, or just the one that you did? Uh, you gain to separate an opponent's tactics and develop a counter to them. As bonus action, you can make wisdoms check creature. You can see is an impacted target's charisma check. If you succeed, sneak a cack against the target, even if you... It's, um, it looks like it is against just one of them, yeah. but they seem like more of an imminent threat right this second. So I'll go ahead and just do it against... Um, you know what? I will do it against that, the skeleton man. Okay. Why not? Um, Although so I did a... just get a sad 10, so we'll see. <laughs> Uh, deception, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I minus, have a plus eight, and I got a Minus one. <laughs> we rolled the same number. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I also got a two. Um, okay, so yeah, minus three charisma for these these big skeletons. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, minus one. It is not very secretive at all. And okay. you, <laughs> Bears you have a good bead on that one. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Nope, that's going to be it for me. Gotcha. Um, all right, it is their turn. Now, um, Esmeralda, that one next to you is going to attack you. He's afraid of me. Or is he immune to fright? What's that from? Um, last turn, my menacing attack. When he failed the wisdom saving throw. Oh, okay. Um, two seconds. Right, just get this, doesn't it? Advantage. Oh, yeah, just double checking. And they I have can't, a couple of different. They um, can't move things. towards you, but they're. Um, yeah, does uh, disadvantage check. Yeah. All right, so let me grab another d20 here. Okay, so it lashes out at you with its claws. Um, that is uh, only a 13. This is. And then um, the second claw attack. A <laughs> natural one. <laughs> so. <laughs> Scaredy, scaredy. Uh, it does yeah. not manage to <laughs> does not manage to hit you with its claws, as it's just like it's just like it's like not looking. It's like they don't even like look towards you. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it doesn't manage to That's get you. Right. Um, the other ones come lumbering through the dark, uh, which will be difficult terrain because they, yeah, they have to move carefully, um, so as not to tumble over the edge. Um, I mean. Sorry, let me get their movements properly here. What's the movement here? Okay. So, this one is going to... move to there, and um, Esmeralda and Edgar, in particular, you hear it just like kung, kung, against the walls and the exterior of the church there. And this one is going to move into the edge of the darkness there. Now, Hellhounds. Um, first up, that one next to you, Edgar. Let's see if we get a recharge on that breath attack. No. <laughs> no. So it tries to bite you. Yeah. Uh, Thirteen. Misses. Okay, misses. That. That's the only. Only has the one attack. Um, so it doesn't get you. Um, the two um, next to you, Esmeralda. The one on the left. Uh, doesn't recharge, the one on the right also doesn't recharge. They do both try just to bite, but they do have pack tactics, so with advantage. First one, 12. <laughs> and the second, Misses. 16. Misses. They're just like right up in your face. <laughs> just like when I'm just like. Yeah. Gracefully dancing around them. Yes, Very gracefully dancing around them. Absolutely. Um, the one next to you, Zinnicus, uh, will not recharge either, um, but it will have pack tactics as its buddy runs up next to you. Um, and this one will sort of run over here as well. 
Um, sorry, folks, I am talking about this at the moment. Um, now, did the, first, the, did, the, did the first one have pad tactics as it attacked before the others ran up, or? I mean, it's all one round, still happening at the same time. Right? I mean, it's all yeah, it's all it's all happening at the same time, right? So, um, it would it would wait. It, you know, it, they're used to hunting in packs, so um, it would wait for its uh, its uh, buddies to arrive. Um, the first one, the new ones do have their breath weapons. Um, so, Zenicus and Esmeralda, I need you both to make two um, two dexterity saving throws. And uh, someone, is anyone in chat um, faster than me? What's cover? I know it's plus two to AC. What does it do for dex saves? It does something, I remember. I think it might be plus two to the save as well. Just a moment. That sounds right. <laughs> and dex, it goes plus two. If it's a quarter of cover, it's plus five. It's total cover. It can't be targeted. Half cover or three quarters cover? She has half there. And it's just a, it's a plus two to the roll. To the deck save as well? Yeah. Okay. Deck saves and AC. Great. So yeah, Asara, with a plus two, you can make that deck save. And Zinicus, you too? Without the plus two, sorry. Oh, I failed one of them. The other one's okay. First or second? Uh, the first one I failed. The second one I got 25. Oh, okay. Ah, Sarah, how'd you go? She's muted. <laughs> the first one I got 16. Oh, it's really... Okay, sorry, your mic was messed up a bit there. Yep. No, the first Six. one I got... Oof. I think the connection's loose. Yeah, the connection's must be loose or something. It's messed up. Try that. Is that better? Yep. Yay! <laughs> there you go. Much better. I don't need this stupid thing. Y'all can listen to my cat yell. Um, the first one I got an 18 with a plus two, and the second one I got a 27. With nice. Plus two. Okay, so yeah, you get half from both. Um, Zenicus, you get half from the second, but not the first. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome, Daniel. Um, so the first fire breath is 10, um, 24. So, half to 12 for both of you. Right, you, you made the first one, right, Zinicus? No, so you made the second one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so, you, 20, so 24 and 12 for you, Asara. And now the second attack is... Um, 10, uh, 28 down to 14 for you both. I'm looking very rough okay. after that. And then, um, Zinicus, the third one without its breath attack will try and bite you. Come on, roll 20. Give me that character sheet. Thank you. Yeah. 18, Mrs. Right? Mrs. Yes, so it tries to bite you, but does not. And then, um, let's see, we've got two more. Um, I mean, yeah, this one. I mean, this one's just going to run up. I mean, knowing that it's knowing that its friend is immune to fire damage, it's just going to come and do the breath attack through them at you, Esmeralda. So, deck Lovely. safe, please. I, I rolled before. I got a twenty-one. This is the first one. Nice. So let's bring us over here. So that is half damage from um, ten, um, nineteen. So down to uh, nine. Okay. So for you there. And the last one is going to smash. Um, let's see. Just there. Just there. And, yeah, smash into the church um, over here. And, ooh, <laughs> it's going to jump in through the window and come charging and attack the, um, the townsfolk as represented by that stonemason, for now. Okay, so um, that is a dead townsfolk as the hellhound just charges, barrels through the window and just grabs hold of them and starts worrying them and, and, uh, and chomping down on them. And you hear screams of terror from inside um, and 
that brings us to the end of that round. Which means... One. Two. Three. Four more hellhounds clamber up and out of the chasm. And two more skeletons. How much lighter does it look? It's getting lighter, think, definitely. You think if you can hold on, if you can survive long enough, then the light of day will do your dirty work for you. Yeah, because there's no way we're winning the fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Charlie. Now, um, the uh, giveaway's on, Charlie. Jump in. Now, um, as uh, that happens there, that brings us to Esmeralda, already in the right spot. Esmeralda is going to um, use her bonus action to cast Second Wind on herself to regain 1d10 plus 3 HP. Nice. Um, so I'm getting 9 HP back. Um, so bonus action, and I'm going to use my uh, my action to cast Lightning Bolt. Okay. Um, at third level, which I believe means I can hit all four of those skeletons in a row. Yep. I'm not sure if you'd allow me to hit one of the dogs as well, but that's up to you. Um, the one right in front of you, yes. Okay, so the four skeletons and the dog will need to take a deck 16 saving throw. Oof, okay, so the one right in front of you, um, only an 11, so that fails, and then the giant flaming skeletons, and um, the deck actually isn't too bad. Uh, 18, so the first Pass. one passes, uh, 5, um, uh, 20, 21, and uh, 16. So the second okay. one fails, the others pass. Okay, so that one, so dog and the second one take 25 lightning and those. Oof. That's 12. Okay, that one right for you had exactly back. 25 HP left. Oh, so yeah. that one is fried as your lightning crackles out <laughs> across. <laughs> Indeed. Um, <laughs> where is that lightning? Come here, lightning. <laughs> Okay, and then it's halved for the others? Uh, yes, it would be. Um, okay, thank you. So it's the 25, right? So down to 12? Yep. Noted, noted. Um, that one closest to you is bloodied. Boom. Um, the second one took the full damage, so it's also bloodied. <laughs> Immediately. I think. Oh no, not quite. Sorry. Um, Twelve on this one. See so, yeah, this lightning just crackles down the line, you know, just like through the darkness and just emerging on the other side. That one you just can't see anything. It's just this inky blackness in front of him. This this lightning bolt just comes bursting out of it in his face. Like, ah! Okay. And I'm going to action surge. Nice. Um, and I'm going to. I have two attacks now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to swing at the giant skeleton again. Go for it. My rapier. 14. Hits. Okay, so that's 7 piercing. Noted. And second attack. Um, I'm going to go again for the dog. And, oh, I'm going to be able to get time. No, I'll just go for the skeleton again. Okay. My hand axe, 14 again. I see that hits. Hits, yep. For an additional nine slash nine okay it is on its last legs as you dart forward your blade whistling through the air once twice cutting into its very essence and putting it in a very bad way nice and, um no that's all <laughs> <laughs> all right okay. thank you esmeralda we have um elhawk are, are you a wizard or a fighter i am both <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I'm multi-class, um, I'm a blade singer slash uh, fighter. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we were trying to find the, the ideal way to make Esmeralda, you know, the, the NPC Esmeralda, as, as a player Natural character. player character, yeah. And, and that's this what came, up with. <laughs> came up working very nicely. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> Esmeralda's badassery is shining through. Okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, which brings us to a more diminutive badass, but... A little fuzzy butt that he has. Edgar, go! <laughs> John, do I see any insects nearby? 
Um, <laughs> give me a perception check. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are there is specifically five bees. <laughs> <laughs> there are several. I mean, is there a particular uh, insect you're looking for? Uh, you know, a uh, wasp would be pretty cool to see. Like, specifically, a total of five wasps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Are wasps goth enough to be in Barovia? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're, like, black stripes and white stripes. Yeah, exactly. All the black <laughs> makeup. All the black makeup on. Death harbingers is what they are. My entire decision was based entirely on what you just said. And buzzing up in the rafters, you spot. <laughs> you see, one of the um, one of the villagers became came prepared to escape from the uh, from the vicious monsters, and they, they they unwrapped some jam sandwiches. And we all know that the instigation <laughs> of a picnic can conjure yeah. wasps anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Damn straight, broken okay. wasps also like jelly. <laughs> So what are you doing? <laughs> All right. Well, looks like we need an army as well. And he, with his staff, packs his mushroom hat as spores blow out, blows them towards those wasps, and casts giant insect Amazing. to make them all become giant I'm so wasps. Sad to see this yeah, boss, fuck them up. <laughs> <laughs> Sporex on top. Okay, giant wasps. Joy. I thought I'd seen the last of these things after we left uh, Avernus. <laughs> Although those were hell wasps, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> now let me give you control. Everyone, do invite druids to your game if you wish to flood your battle maps <laughs> with tokens. <laughs> now he is so much fun. That. Now that he's done that, he needs to use conjure animals as well. <laughs> conjure six deep ponies or something. And then get, get his bag of tricks. <laughs> yeah, bag of tricks after that. Yeah. And then wild shape. Yeah, actually, and then wild shape. And then wild shape. Counter ask, we're ready. And then Oi. get Esmeralda to uh, do like anime objects. Just watch your <laughs> board just be flooded with creatures. And roll 20 crashes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go, my army! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Edgar, can you, can you confirm you have control there, sir? Uh, I do. I do. Oh, Is that working so, for you? Yes. Um, so, um, one of them... Actually, what am I doing? Wasps. Wasps are always together, so... They are all... Up here. <laughs> Splendid. Um, and you should have control of all of those. Um, if you if you select one and then shift hold shift and double click, you'll get the um, stat block, and you can just click it for attacks and things. Perfect. Hold shift and click. Yeah. Se okay. Select the token and then hold shift double click to open up and then click on the stat block ah. part. The nice. uh, if you okay. click on the character sheet part and then under the actions tab, the bold the bold text titles of the actions are clickable, and that will put it in chat. So, uh, what yeah. I'm gonna do... Pretty much everything's clickable on there, actually. Yeah. So, the first l little, uh, the first, not little, <laughs> giant, giant wasp, if you please. Is, <laughs> is, <laughs> is going to go up to the one next to the villagers over here, yep. and I want it to pick him up <laughs> to make... So to grapple. Yep, little grapple. All right. So give me an athletics check. So a strength check. Yep. Um, so... You can click. You can click on the strength on the in the stat block. Yep. Okay. I see. I see. So that is a <laughs> sorry. Sixteen. The Maharishi in chat. There. Idea. Variant of the spell. Animate object. Animate object. <laughs> Many possibilities. Why dice? Ada. Okay. <laughs> um, Maharishi, did you did you know that most of us are in Japan or have been in Japan? <laughs> All of us have been in Japan. And as long as the, and as long as the I are, are there right now. Yeah, as long as the the boss don't start going it's doing ubu, it's fine. <laughs> 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 All right. 
Something with a look at um, Edgar. So, how was your uh, athletics check there, mate? Uh, that was a 16. Okay, um, just click on the click on the stat block. You can do it in the thing. I mean, I'll stick, I'll yeah, stick the 16, but have a, have a practice run. Oh, yeah. The... So click where it says strength, the STR, on the stat block. There we go. Oh, is, that, is that whispering it to you? Does it say to Edgar at the top? Uh, it's to Edgar. It just. Did you say to oh, Edgar? It says. Yeah. It says to GM at the. To. Okay, it's not showing up in chat for me for some reason. It doesn't matter. Mm. Um, we'll just take your word for it. So 16. Okay, uh, it is, yeah, is going to try and use its strength to break out of that. <laughs> 18, I'm afraid. So as the wasp okay. down in those legs, <laughs> stop it, Michael. That, as his legs wrap around is... the hellhound, it just goes <laughs> and breaks out. <laughs> that is fine because the other that one <laughs> shall fly around, surround it, and vibrate. Damn it! <laughs> so they have shall. bolts. So they have pack tactics. <laughs> uh, they do not have pack no. tactics. They should. I, I, I get more wasps. freaked out by more wasps than if there's a single wasp. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... I'd rather me... fight... Yeah. Would I rather fight a pack of dogs or a pack of wasps? That's, uh, that's the question. Um, wasps? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. I mean, uh... a pack of giant... Or a pack of wasp-sized dogs or a pack of dog-sized wasps. The, 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 there's the website dogs, surely. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Chihuahuas, right? <laughs> okay. So, are you just going to attack it? Yep. Uh, John, do you see it? I click Sting, and it uh, it's says... not coming up on. It's just coming on you. Just, 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 just read me what it says, mate. Hmm. Okay. So it says 17 for that one. That hits. Nice, nice. So for the damage, that's going to be. Uh, Five and then it needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Ruh roh. Uh, Hellhound's Constitution is not bad. What's the DC? DC eleven. All right, spum. No, only a nine. Okay, so <laughs> it's going I hear to. You, <laughs> it's going to be a total of eight poison damage. <laughs> And is it poisoned or just to get damage? Uh, uh, it is. It is not poison. Uh, it just takes the poison damage. Okay. And then a successful save, half as much damage. Yep. Yep. Then the other wasps out surrounds the hellhound next to me. Will do, Rishi. And and both of them. Them. <laughs> and Joe's just like, what's going on? I leave for 10 minutes and I come back to this? <laughs> There's druids <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> druids everywhere. So, so one wasp it's got 14, chaos. one wasp got 22. Uh, so what was the first one? The first one was 14. Um, that misses, I'm afraid, but the second one hits. Okay. <laughs> yes, so... no. Oprah Winfrey. Bees! <laughs> Let there be bees! Uh, okay. The... So it does three damage and then constitution save throw, please. Yes, indeed. Um, as I let roll twenty lumber its way through. Ugh. Sixteen. <laughs> okay. It. Uh, it's a then it takes the half, half damage. Okay. So it's six poison damage. Notice. Um, six reduced to three or twelve to six. Uh, 12 reduced to 6. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for when, when you're doing a, a reduction like that, always say the original reduced to and then the new amount, because people get confused. Yeah. Me too. Uh, <laughs> Not least me. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, so that is that, and it is bloodied by this vicious attack as the poison dripping stingers of these giant wasps angrily buzzing through the church space, causing arguably much more panic than the hell what hounds are <laughs> amongst the Barovians <laughs> gathered <poor> here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Imagine giant wasps in an enclosed space. No, thank you. Um, Zegas Gwahin! 
Um, he's going to be super oh. exciting. Hold that thought, mate. Let's take a moment here. Entrio, one of our new followers today, and, and uh, a new person to D and D, is having their first game Yay. tonight. Yay! Let's lose the community. Yay! Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Um, do not copy I apologize these people. for yes. the rest of your time. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. You're that's now awesome. Trapped in this joyous place. Are you, um, what's your character, Entrio? That's not. That's not. That's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so, um, sorry, Zenicus, please. Zenicus, <laughs> first, we'll roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Yep. Everything's fine. <laughs> then oh, he's no. going to be super exciting and take the dodge action. Okay. Don't blame him. The dodge right action. now, we need to hold out. The dodge action. Win a fight. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take. So he's just realised he's being surrounded and needs to kind of combat the situation. Uh, uh, so he's okay. going to take the dog action and end his turn. Absolutely, other hook. Um, okay, so you are a dodging there, which I think we use this one for. <laughs> Put him up. Take him up. Stick Come him up. on. Come on. Come on. Crispy rules. Okay. And uh, yep, yeah, you are um, trying to avoid. That's actually really sensible. Said doggos. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? That's me done. Noted. A Sara Bell. All right. So I am going to. I had to check. I'm like, am I muted? Um. Oh, I thank am you, going Baron to Yes. Go ahead and shoot my crossbow at this dude. Or my short bow, rather. 19 to hit. Um, which one are you going for, sorry? The one I have advantage on this guy. Oh, I'm. It's not doing the ping because yep. I'm not on. The... <laughs> yeah, that guy. Um. Yep. So 19 to hit. That's it's... six piercing, and I'm going to go ahead and do my sneak, my sneak attack. Mm -hmm, with and the advantage. That's 12. Nice. So a total of 18. Yep. As you can see, there is a little red dot, which means it's on its last legs, which means it is at 10 or fewer. Asara Bell, tell me. What happens? Yes. So he, um, as I shoot him, I manage to get like, like through his like the ribs where they come together and they kind of start like he goes and hits one of his little vertebrae, and it all just like <laughs> like a cartoon skeleton. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Uh, question, John. Is, yeah, is, is does it have a beast in its type? Out of curiosity, the um, giant skeletons. Uh, the, not the giant the skeletons. The hellhounds. The hellhounds are not. I'm afraid. No, they're fiends. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I said it before. I said it again. Fucking druids. Look at them shenanigans <laughs> around over there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mean it. You know it. All oh, right. Oh, what, did we get? The, did we get the thing? Wizards. Nice. I approve. <laughs> Okay, have a great time in trio. Um, all right, so that is that. And anything else, Sarah? That's me. I'm all good. All right, the. Oh. I am going to do the insightful fighting on one of these doggos who's in here with us. I will do insightful fighting against the charisma of this doggo. Can you have it on more than one at the same time? Mm. No, but I killed that one dude. So I Good don't point. have it on him anymore. Good points. So a um, deception check. How deceptful are fiendish hellhounds? They have keen hearing and smell. They can smell their own bullshit. <laughs> um, <laughs> 16. Oh, well they beat me. I got a 15. Okay, now I'm done. That was with a minus two. <laughs> This is a oh, wow. very charismatic hellhound. I keep rolling less than <laughs> 10 every time because I have plus like, eight I to insight. I don't think so. <laughs> puts back his monocle in. No. <laughs> okay. Right. Thank you, thank you. Um, as we come round to said big boys. Kaboom. Oh my. Kaboom. Kaboom. Oh my. This one is standing over there and um, is 
Um, Asari, just there's a massive smash as a huge skeletal fist just pounds through that window to the far eastern edge of the church there. Um, and this, I'm going to make a strength check here. Yep. Uh, 13, what's their strength? Might not be enough still. Oh, no, not enough. Okay, there's a massive crunch against the wall um, outside there, Edgar. And this one is also going to come lumbering up to the walls. Let me bring our folks over here. And boom, that is a 17. This far western end of the church, you just see the wall and the masonry just come through as a massive skeleton flaming with its skull wreathed in fire bends down and reaches through into the church itself. And this one, seeing that nice doorway, will come up behind it. Over there. All right. <laughs> Unleash the hellhounds. <laughs> All of them. Oh, boy. Oof. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So. The one next to your two wasps up here. Um, Edgar is going to not recharge its breath attack and it does not have pack tackets. It's going to just try and bite one of the wasps. Only an 11. Does that hit? It does not. Um, no, it just kind of buzzes up and out of the way. Bzzz. Oh, come on, show me. Roll 20. Roll 20. Roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> it's struggling. Okay, yep, okay, so yeah, buzzes up and out of the way and avoids that. The one right next to you, Edgar, does not recharge either and tries to snap at you. Okay. Boom. 16. So, 16 does hit as a ah. reaction? Yes. Uh, so, I can't say that Humblewood is not real because I cast Humblewood Spiny Shield yes. as my reaction. <laughs> uh, fourth level spell. <laughs> So, let me grab 5 yes. and 4 real quick. Tarina would be proud. <laughs> Epson chat. <laughs> so, uh, the damage will be reduced by 15, and the creature will take 15. <laughs> wow, okay. So, it was 15 damage, 10 fire piercing and 10 <laughs> fire. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> now... It takes the pierce. It takes the damage from the spikes, right? It's not the damage. Ah, uh, yes, from the, back on from itself. the spikes. Right, yes. Yeah, so it, it takes that whole damage. <laughs> Ouchies. <laughs> okay. Ouchies. <laughs> and it's like um, Sporlax, your little tapestry on your on your on your hat on your hat. There is like, ah, <laughs> yeah, the spikes. <laughs> um, and that one is on its last. Doggo legs. He sounds like he really got well as my cream. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> <You're right. laughs> this is my this is my familiar voice. <laughs> All of them are like that. It, um, it's, it's what, what cream what cream's a bit what, what cream's a bit more London. True. <laughs> <laughs> this one's just a bit rough. <laughs> this is what I happens to how... a pestry when it's actually taken out of the Feywild. <laughs> 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 These are they're a new creature from uh, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, eh? Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and good. As written, they sound annoying as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Const just constantly singing in a high pitched voice all the time. <laughs> and the story elements. Yeah, right. Yep. Um, okay, so that one's on its last legs. And. Which brings us down here to the edge of outside. Um, Esmeralda. Mm hmm. The one nearest to you recharges its fire breath, I'm afraid. So give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay, um, I will. <laughs> I'm not saying anything 20. more, Charlie. Natural 20. Let them fly Yay. if you don't, folks. Um, okay, and you take half damage then. <laughs> well, I'll take what I can get. Indeed. Um, so that is 10. 22 to 11. Down to 11. Good lord, puppy. Calm down. <laughs> Um, okay, and actually, um, that will actually go. That will actually hit your wasp as well. It's a fifteen-foot cone, Edgar. 
So that's going to pump b bursting through the door and into where your wasp is. So give me a deck save for the wasp, please. Oh no. Okay. It's going to be... Ah! Quick. 18. Okay, so also 11 fire damage. Oh no. My baby's so you can still do that, alive. Do that on the token. Just type minus, minus 11 on the ah. box there. Copy. Yeah, just select select the green circle and then type minus eleven and hit enter. And um, that's those two. This newcomer will come running up, um, and I'm so popular, you guys. <laughs> attack you um, as this one also comes forward. Um, chomp, chomp, chomp. Twenty four. That's wrong. I Can I cast shield? Uh, it's a, as a reaction, yeah? I cast shield as a reaction. Which puts you to? Uh, 27. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, so that one tries to get you, but then just this, <laughs> this energy just goes up in front of you. Um, how does that look? What is it? Is it like a, a shower I... of tarot cards? <laughs> of uh, tarot cards or something? <laughs> I think it's more just like this sort of this shockwave kind of emanates mm -hmm. out from wherever it tries to hit, and you can nice. see the sort of visible, like, kind of ripples coming off from the inbox zone. Yes, indeed. Okay, thank you. Um, as uh, these other ones will come charging and nipping up towards that broken window over on the left side here, and then um, Xenicus, um, this new one will come bounding over and okay. use its fire breath, so give me the deck save, please. That's pretty good. That's uh, 24. Nice. So you take half of um, 15 down to 7. Ouchie. Um, as this fire just washes across you. And the other three are going to just try and bite you as a straight roll, yes, with the patient defense? Uh, yes, with the defense, yes. Yeah. Yes. Actually, the one in the bottom left corner will also see if it recharges its breath, because it can get a sour as well. Oh, natural one. No. Okay, so... Three bites with a straight roll. First one, ten. Ten, eight. Nope. <laughs> so it's like, you're just like desperately, oh, sorry, you just see Xenicus just desperately fending off these horrible visions of hell's fury, fire spilling out of their gaping moors and burning in their eyes as they um, attempt to destroy your friend. Which, everyone? That's my job. <laughs> Brings us to the end of the round. And the dawn. <laughs> As I look to be for a reaction. <laughs> oh, here comes the sun. <laughs> Four more hounds. Gandalf. Oh no! And two oh, no, no. more skeletons. Scam, scam, uh, scampering. I'm doing the scampering again. Clamber <laughs> is the word I was looking for. Skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> um, up, <laughs> out, of the, out of the chasm. One right in front of you there, Esmeralda. Actually, you know what? Two right there in front of you, Esmeralda. I'm honored, thank you. You're welcome. Shouldn't have used my fit to uh, save the child. <laughs> 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 what were you thinking? Sorry, I'm going to play favorites. Um, speaking <laughs> of Esmeralda de Avenir, how about it? You Vistani uh, legend. Yeah. <laughs> um. slightly, slightly unsure of Vistani well, legend. Sure. <laughs> well, I have, there's just so many targets to kill, it's just hard to know where to go first. It's a it's like being in a candy shop full choices, of choices. people in candy that wants to kill you. Indeed. Um, <laughs> go go go. Yeah. Okay. I am gonna. What are my options here? I'm gonna just try and get some of these hounds out of the way. I'm gonna attack the bloody town next to me. That right here. The bloody room. Yep. Go for it. Sixteen. Hits. Four ten piercing. Nice. Okay, it is on its last legs. Lovely. Um, I am going to buy cantrips. Um, it's fire damage, but I'll take the extra damage. 
Um, so I'm going to attack it again with my hand axe. Yep. Um, using green flame blade. Nice. Um, so green that's... Flame. Green flame. <laughs> that's going to miss. Oh, this hand axe. It's not doing the work. Okay. It's not doing the work. It's plus seven. And then I have my second attack. That's my bonus action. Go for it. I'm two left for fighting, so I'm going to go with my rapier again. Fourteen. It's Latin. Sorry. Hellhounds. Just misses, I'm afraid. Sorry. Oh, okay. Then I do not do any damage. It's just on its last legs and probably pissed. It is. <laughs> quite, <laughs> quite angry. Edgar, it is your turn. Okay. And so, do the wasps go on your turn? Uh, the wasps go immediately after my turn. Yes. And yeah. So, uh, I will use my turn to use my wild shape to for my symbiotic entity and how I like to imagine this is Sporlax kind of pops out it's like <laughs> it's fungus time and starts shaking violently <laughs> and like spreads spores everywhere I shall attempt <laughs> to depict this scene <laughs> excuse me everyone. let's get myself ready pat, pat. <laughs> it's fungus time <laughs> Perfect. And little <laughs> spores start spraying everywhere. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, and, <laughs> and that's honestly the turn. That is the turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. So now with my wasp turn. Uh, buzz buzz. The the, <laughs> the the two. The two next to the hellhound next to me will yep. attack. Go for it. Uh, both Miss. were ten. Animus. <laughs> buzz buzz. Okay. Buzz better, buzz and... better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and up on the top one. Yep, the two next to the mm. other Hellhound. Uh, who, by 18... the way, anyone who's interested in this battle music, it's a good one. Um, this is the um, battle music from Hell's Rebels. Hell's Rebels for your Sirenscape searching needs. Um, okay. Um, so that was a... The 18 hits, uh, the 6 does not. Yep, yep. <laughs> so some, it's, so, it's now, now it's showing me. <laughs> it wasn't showing me before. Oh, good, good. Okay. <laughs> so, the one's going to deal 6 damage and then constitution saving throw, please. Uh, 6 damage and a con save. That little hellhound gets a 12. That's a fail. Okay. Uh, so, so, it actually succeeded, I believe, right? Let me double check. What's the DC? Twelve? I believe it was eleven. I just had it up. Let me let me double check. It was eleven. Yes. Oh, so, okay. so yeah, half then. So twelve reduced to six poison damage. Okay, and what was the initial piercing? Uh, the initial piercing was six. Um. Okay. By the way, for the damage, you can click the name of the attack in the chat bar, and it will roll the damage for you. Name attack in the chat bar. Okay. In the chat, yeah, in the, in the chat where the where the attack came up, click where it says sting. Okay. And it will do the damage. Just have a go. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Maybe, maybe not. And it'll probably list up. It'll list Let's up see. the um, details as well. Let's see, I'm trying to find the area with my arrows. Like, click this. <laughs> Okay, so that one is bloodied okay. now from that vicious giant there we attack. Go. There it is, yeah, that's it. So yeah, seven piercing, seven poison, if it does the save. Um, all right, so there we go. And um, welcome in, everyone. I hope everyone's having a, a wonderful time, whatever part of the day it is, wherever you are in the world. And um, please do jump in our giveaway from the fabulous Arcane Library that is going on ce soir um, as we are giving away this adventure. You too can enjoy these beautiful maps with the intricate rug details that we love the Arcane Library for so much. And um, also, um, you can also jump out and give us a follow and head on over to our Discord. And also, you can enjoy gift subs from the wonderfully generous DM Charlie. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. And welcome, Entrio. Let them phoenixes fly. Oh yeah, another, so another thing. We are in the um, we are in the program for the followers uh, emotes. So you do not have to sub. You can get a nice little clutch of emotes with a mere follow, as well as access to our followers Discord, where you can come and hang out and share all of your stuff. Behold my stuff. Okay. So. 
<laughs> and um, so I was laughing at Charlie. So um, that brings us to the end of your turn, sir. Are we all done? Are those correct? Yep, yep. Xenicus! Yep. Xenicus! Everything is fine. <laughs> we don't have patches of us, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm super exciting again because all we have to wait for the dawn, so he's taking the dodge action. If he attacks, it's. <laughs> That's all of these creatures around him getting advantage on him, and that's just not gonna happen. That's <laughs> too risky. So I mean, dodge action. You could you could roll over the windowsill next to a sour and just get a few Take attacks all of opportunity. The opportunity attack <laughs> I'll at just advantage. Pull you yeah, nah. into the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that dodge action. Listen to her. But what did she just say? Pull me in. I'll just pull you into the window. Involuntary movement. I mean, have to pull me to do that. Involuntary movement does not allow attacks of opportunity. True. I mean, I'm still going to take the dodge action, just in case, because <laughs> they can still then move one step forward and hit me. Yep, so. yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, sorry, everybody. We're talking about this good boy over here. Um, now, I think you need to make a roll for me, sir. Me? Don't you? You're not uh, losing control? I know, I did that. That's why I said everything's fine. Oh, I see. I thought you were just being generally nope. paranoid and scared. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting up my own now, so my turn, I check, and everything was fine. You thought you were being the meme. No. I mean, that too, but no, everything is fine. <laughs> yes, Charlie, the hyper mode is the one I had the re most request for access to. Uh, Zenica, you were saying that quite a bit, weren't you? Um, so have that in chat, available in chat. So. It's available even for our followers. <laughs> all the hype. Because we do enjoy sharing the hype for this hobby of ours with all of you lovely people. Right, okay. Thank you, sir. Um, speaking of, Drow, warrior princesses. <laughs> with swords. With swords. I'm going, I am going to hop up on the windowsill and lean out and grab Zinnicus by his not scruff and just <laughs> attempt to Lean back, like using my leverage. I'm letting you know that this is a bad idea, but thank you. There's a reason why <laughs> I wasn't getting. There was a Give... reason why I didn't want to be closer to you. By the way. <laughs> Give... oh, no. <laughs> yes, that. Give me an. <laughs> Give me an athletics check, Asara. Well, well, actually, I I, if I, I felt she was coming close to me, I would resist that. Because I don't want to be closer to her. Okay. Then give me give me a contested athletics, please. Yeah. Alright, well, good for you. I have a minus one. Such <laughs> so, thing. so do Rolls I! <laughs> so do <laughs> I! Could you, seriously? I got an 18. I've got, oh, and okay. I do have an advantage because I'm a werewolf, so. Okay, right. well. Uh, I got an 18 on the dice, which means oh. I got a I mean <laughs> Okay, so. Because I've got. Um, so, Nicholas, you kind of. Yeah, you growl kind of snap three. towards her. Um, look, the two of you, please. How does, how does this happen? <laughs> You try, to, you try to grab a giant werewolf with a scruff of the neck. How does that happen? Yes. Yes. I reach out and I'm like, I don't even, like, with, so you, you, I'm, I'm like reaching out and like attempt, I'm wiping a few times, like, like a mom trying to grab their kids, like, uh, uh, uh. and then I like grab the back of you and I missed your, your, your wind. Okay, and I like I go to pull back, and your clo your shirt just breaks, and I like that's all that happens. One of my favorite shirts. You take it that from me too. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were successful, right, oh, sir? No, I was successful. Look at number three. That's what I thought was he was oh. successful. Yeah. I thought you said you had a minus one as well. Yeah, but then I've got plus four because of like um, proficiency. Speed business, sir. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, so yes, yeah, that is um, unsuccessful, and you kind of like stumble back into the room as um, he tears away. What a waste of a turn! Um, and that, and I will do insightful fighting. I'm like, all right, fine, you won't come here. I'll do insightful fighting on this one. On Zenicus. This giant <laughs> dancing skeleton. Um, inside the church. Yes. Notice. Um, so that is a deception check from these very uncharismatic. So. Uh, I got 
12 also. Uh. <laughs> the minus three. I'm gonna start growing my own mushrooms in believe, this corner. I can't believe how successful they've been. It's a minus three versus a plus eight. <laughs> wow. Every time I have rolled no better than a seven with Bad my luck. plus eight. Oof. Oof. Um, okay, and speaking of giant flaming scary skeletons, this one is going to come lumbering over and okay. start just flailing out at the wasps. This one comes inside as well. No, my babies. Um, as Your babies. Um, this one <laughs> also fails to smash through that wall again. It's just in that pitch darkness outside, just going, <laughs> <laughs> and, and is unable to destroy um, the. Um, church wall and the do they have reach yes okay as brother <laughs> these Hi. two will come lumbering forward and they have reach oh that's just wonderful so they are going to reach oh, over no. their friends and lash out at you with their claws um, for I think it's at a plus five yes okay so first one um, nine. And second attack, seven. The other one, ooh, natural 20. There we go. And the last attack is only a two. I'm so the one down. hits you. Um, that is going to be... I mean, you start, well, it may mess because you're uh, all of your um, that's copies. True. That's true. Because nothing's hit you since that first time, so you've still yeah, fought it. Yeah, that's true. It's all been just half damage stuff. So it yep. does actually have a duplicate, thank god. Okay, well, there's still duplicates there. Yeah, because yep. the, the, the dexterity saving tools were getting past it, but the yeah. actual attack stole Is that so. is that yeah. concentration? Um, let me check. No, it's I not. So. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, sorry, please, please watch that, because we, do, we, need to be, we need to be careful with the, with the checks it hasn't for that. Really, it hasn't really mattered um, yeah. so far. <laughs> The um, down. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, yeah. This this mine thing just goes just tears one of your duplicates to pieces, and it just like winks at him before it disappears. Yes, it does <laughs> a little swirl. Like, and <laughs> okay, angry. Um, okay, this one um, is going to clamber through the hole it knocked in the wall next to you, Asara. Hello. Uh oh. <laughs> Over here. And attack you. The first one um, is a 20, uh, 23. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, and the second attack is don't, only. Don't look at me expectantly like 23. Does that. I mean, to be honest, with Ian. Yeah, with Ian, um, yeah, with Ian as, Merit, yeah, that's it, a chance of that question. being a miss. So. <laughs> <laughs> not at this level. We're a quite high level party these days, so uh, you know there is every chance that that could not work. Um, okay, so that one does hit just a single claw, which scrapes across your shoulder as you are suddenly um, accosted by this creature, and that is going to be um, oof, uh, 50, eighteen slashing damage, as it's just. Cuts massive grooves in your shoulder. Um, grooves in the shoulder. No, sorry. And um, then those are all dead. Um, that brings us to <laughs> the Hellhounds. Uh, so, John, yes, since right? the Hellhound's dying, it's turned near me. Please have it roll a Constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that one, the one that's on his last legs. Yeah, uh, yep, yep, the one right next to Edgar. 13. How do I give myself a yellow 13 dot? 13 is a fail. And so, uh, it will suffer from Sporlax's fungus time and take 8 necrotic damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he's just like, <laughs> yes, yes, breathe it in, breathe deep, you bastard. And it's just, and it's just like the, the, the hellhound's like, <laughs> <laughs> just dies. <laughs> so, gone. Yes! <laughs> Sporlaxel claims their first victim. <laughs> Camp history's gone wild. Rawr. Okay. So, oof, look at this. Look at this ridiculous corner of the church. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, as um, that hellhound dies, a, um, a fate worse than death <laughs> at the hands of a campus stream. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the top there will not recharge its breath attack and try to bite itself a wasp. Chomp! 
Dirty 20. So, um, let's see. It goes for the one on the right. And that is going to be... 8 piercing and 7 fire damage. So 15 <laughs> no. total. He so it just grabs the wasp out of the air and just starts worrying it and shaking it about and it just burns up in its mouth and dies. <laughs> okay. Sag. <laughs> These two jump over the into the church and do that and that. Then um Esmeralda. Hi. Hello. I'm still here, I still hit points to take away. Um, so, the one on the left recharges its fire breath, the one in the middle recharges its fire breath, the one on the right does not. Two dexterity saving okay. throws, please. Yep. Um, two, I'm probably going down either way. One's a nat 20, one's nice. a 14. Um, they both succeed, so you take half damage on both down. of these. Um, that is going to be 10, 16 down to 8. Okay. And then the second one is... Uh, 13 down to 6. Okay, I'm still up. Oof, wow. Good job. And the last one didn't recharge, so it's going to try and bite you with uh, pack tactics. 18. Misses. Misses, pack. you don't dodge out of the way. They continue the roll <laughs> of you dodging the fire breath. So it's just this, Edgar, there's just these gouts of flame just bursting through the church door behind you, and just Ezreal just silhouetted against the flames, just dancing um, in the fire. Yes. I use my reaction? No. Oh no, I already cast shielding. Um, it last turn? Uh, it hasn't been your turn since then. Yeah, it hasn't been your turn. Okay. Hmm? Well, no, because that was against... The dog was the, 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 the dead yeah, last yeah, time. Yeah, so. yeah, you're good. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Okay, in that case, I'm going to use repost my maneuver. Yes. Um, was well, that the one that's the dot? That's the one with the red dot, right? Blood is, yeah. Yeah, so it missed. So I'm going to use my last superior die to um, make a melee attack against it with my rapier. Nice. Which hopefully will hit. 18. 18 hits. Lovely. So it takes uh, 10 plus. You know what that red dot means. Yep, I do. <laughs> I just want to know. Yeah, of course. Plus, on principle, um, how much do I kill it by? I, four, so 14 piercing. 14 piercing damage. Tell me what <laughs> happens as this beast leaps towards you. It's gaping fiery more open. <laughs> Being thoroughly barbecued, but I managed like <laughs> I sort of see it like the battering ram, Lord of the Rings, you can see the flames. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just yeah, yeah. stare through the brain, you know, okay. straight in. I have, have yeah. no concentration <laughs> to do anything else. I see the smile I poke. <laughs> yeah, you just see the, the dancing flames and the shimmer from the heat of Esmeralda's figure just you know, frowning, you know, concentrating on this beast attacking, and the sword lunges forward and straight down the beast's throat, and it burns up around the blade, and cinders rain down around you. And that takes us to Xenicus. Wait, that was my... Wait, what? Um... Two of them will attack yeah, with their breath attack. oh, okay. attacks. There, so give me those deck saves. <laughs> I'm taking the dog action. The dog action? Yeah, I'm taking the dog action. <laughs> so I, I thought we'd we, we determined this before. It's a doge action. Doge action. Doge. So I've got advantage. Thank fuck for the advantage, because that's a 23. Oh, and saving throws too? Yep. Deck Six. saving throws specifically. Nice. Uh, 27 to 23. Okay, yeah, they both pass. The first one is going to be. 10, uh, so 18 reduced to 9, okay, and the second one is um, 10, 24 reduced to 12. Still up? Everything is fine. Okay, and so those are the two with their breath attacks. Um, the one right next to you, to your right, recharges. Um, well, let's just let's just check because it might not even matter. Yeah, it's going to be um, twenty. That's ten. Yeah, I'm afraid that's so. That's more than ten, even if it's halved. Okay, um, Asara, you're I mean, just like battling against the skeleton that's right behind you in the in the church here. But as you do, you kind of see over the windowsill there just this gout of flame, and Xenicus's werewolf form is consumed. And falls. I have to the one ground. HP. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm going down. And you give me the numbers for like. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, and. <laughs> the other um, dog, the other hellhounds that did not use that, clamber over his prone, uh, smoking form and all <laughs> come binding in next to you, Asara. And attack. With advantage. Uh, natural 20 on the first mm -hmm. one. So that is mm -hmm. 16 piercing and 10 fire. 26. I'm down. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you go down, which means these two will just keep on running at you, Edgar, instead. As they come bounding over You're here. You lose the tank? Oh my god. <laughs> as the tank goes down, everything <laughs> Oh Sorry. my god, they even grew in size! Like Whoa. Power Rangers! Big <laughs> Monster Grow! <laughs> so, uh, okay. Um, so, Edgar, the first one on you um, gets 24. That hits. That's 5 piercing, 11 fire, 16 total. Okay. And the second one. Princess Priestess has been used. 21 to hit. That's true. 9 piercing, 9 fire, so 18 damage. Okay. Yep. So, Xenicus, you crumble the flames scorching your fur to the ground. Asara, the hellish jaws lock around your neck and the fire burns through your flesh as it tears you down to the ground. Esmeralda, you are desperately lashing out this way and that with your rapier as the hellhounds press in with the giant skeletons, their clawed hands reaching hungrily over from behind. As Edgar, even with your wasps, the hellhounds come charging in behind you as the giant skeletons wade through the church to the east and the west on the inside of this holy ground, all of them starting to move inexorably closer and closer to all of you, moving in clawing their way up out of the chasm and moving to attack all of you. And as they do so, Zemikus, with your last glimpse of conscious vision as the flames overtake you and you embrace oh, no. the sweet kiss of <laughs> unconsciousness, you see the clouds lightning slowly as they have been this entire time much as when you retrieved that nifty little ring of yours up in the monastery above Krisk you see a break in the clouds an opening and through that break in the clouds comes a beam <laughs> of sunlight. A beam of sunlight shining down like the burst of energy from your sun sword, like the burst of energy from the amulets of raven kinds destroying those vampire spawn on the edge of castle Ravenloft. And as the sunlight breaks through the clouds, you see the statue of Saint Sophia Esmeralda is creaking and rumbling as it moves in its spot and gestures up towards the clouds, willing them to open as in any natural given setting, this would be the coming of the dawn. And as the sunlight breaks through, you hear Chernobog up on the mountaintop roar in frustration and pain and anger and you see eruptions of flame and showers of soot and sparks as the minions dancing and swarming around the vast fiend on the mountaintop starts to burn up and explode before his very eyes and as that light bathes you and the villagers and your friends here at the church of Saint Sophia in the village of Barovia, the sunlight hits each of the creatures and one by one with a 
they burn and flailing against the light they are consumed as Saint Sophia's magic is restored to her as the witch moon is banished by the light of day and let me just start to do this from 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 <laughs> as all of these creatures Asara yeah. you're battling desperately against this vast um, creature but you are tackled from behind as the vast weight of the hellhounds bears you to the ground bites into the back of your neck and you feel unconsciousness taking you over but before you dip into the dark you hear the burning and screeching of fiends having a bad bad day and Edgar Thunder. you see <laughs> the remains and the creatures still standing in the church here also hit by the sunlight streaming through in a myriad of colors through the broken stained glass windows beams piercing through like spears of holy justice as saint sophia's anger and retribution shines down on all the fiends and they are consumed and esmeralda as you look towards where saint sophia is turning once again from the clouds and gesturing with her sword up towards the mountaintop once more you see chernobog writhing and twisting um celestial lights burning around him spiraling around him dragging his form down towards the mountain his vast bat-like wings wrap around the form once more and inexorably he is dragged once more into his celestial prison and then there is a Ten more dogs. Hum, hum, as one giant skeleton is protected by an aura of magical darkness but... <laughs> wait, wait, if unaware. She's, if she's dying, let me finish so... my sentence. Uh, he is unaware of what is happening all around him. But as indeed Asara falls unconscious, boom, the magical darkness is dispelled, and he turns, his eye sockets widening in surprise. <laughs> He's like, Ara. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he is consumed by the daylight. And as soon as it came, those clouds snap shut almost angrily as Strahd's influence, even tucked away in that little puppet of his, grasps hold, grasps control of his domain once more. And the clouds cover up the sunlight, but day has arrived, and you are successful. <laughs> the priestess comes dashing forward, and with her magics restored to her by Saint Sophia as she visited the church, she comes running to you, Asara, first, and then vaults over the windowsill and crouches down by Xenicus's form. And I have also run, by the way. Yes, of course, right. And you, Esmeralda, see that same glow as the light that broke down from the heavens emanate from her palm and spread through Xenicus's form as it shone beyond the window for Asara before, and both of you are... Um, restored to half of your HP. I should have died. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Lucky bastards dying. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a, <laughs> a gasp as Xenicus wakes up and Xenicus you hear from within the church the sound of much rejoicing. Yeah, only two or three of us died! Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, oh shit, yeah! And there is a period of respectful mourning. <laughs> as they deal. Um, what? Because um, that, that hellhound was one of the new ones that jumped into the church, so it would have unleashed its cone. 
yeah. like just in the chest, just like through there. Uh, very bad. Everyone's cheering. It's just pews on fire. There's people running around screaming. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're just like, yeah, they're getting in the spirit of it. Yeah. <laughs> they're desperately like beating out the flames and just like yeah, making sure that that's um, out of under control. And they slowly emerge into the daylight, blinking and heaving sighs of relief as they. So those two are also gone. <laughs> Go away. Um, as they are realizing that all is well, and they are saved by the heroes of Barovia and their new ally, Edgar. <laughs> and more importantly, Sporax. <laughs> 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 And as the villagers try to bring some semblance of order back to the church and carry the dead and the re-dead <laughs> as the undead bodies are once more interred in the graveyard and preparations are made for the funerals of those who were unfortunately lost but there is still a light and a hope that such a foe, such a danger, could be beaten and driven back from whence it came. And we shall leave these equal parts rejoicing and mourning villages and our victorious heroes as we depart from Ravenloft as only we are able <laughs> for another week a massive thank you to our players a massive thank you to the arcane library for supporting us and for their wonderful wonderful adventures and do head on over to their homepage and have a look for yourself at all the wonderful titles that they have on offer so many wonderful things that you can just pop. We've popped them into Eberron campaigns. We've popped them into Barovia here. They're so versatile. Their Halloween stuff every year is fantastic. And, <laughs> oh yes, um, um, Esmeralda, you do actually get some healing too from the uh, priestess. Thank hey, you. Uh, how El much Hulk, do I get? El Hulk is there. Um, Thank you. you. I have one ally in this campaign. <laughs> you get 20 points of healing. Thank you. As it Thank seems that the priestess, 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 is <laughs> empowered you, by the victory of Saint Sophia. Oh, my Heresia <laughs> subscription as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. It's absolutely a pleasure to have you here. Um, thank you for joining us, everyone. It is wonderful to have you along for our adventures, as many as they are, as we have all kinds of things going on on the channel here. Do join us whenever you are able. Catch the VODs if you can't, and enjoy our adventures with us. Um, here is a link again to the YouTube and Twitter stuff. Um, and of course, our giveaway is open for a few moments more. If you are not already, please jump in, exclamation mark, enter, for your chance to win this adventure, The Fabulous Night on Devil's Peak from Arcane Library, as we will be drawing a winner after I quickly run down what is happening throughout the rest of this week before we're back in Ravenloft. Tomorrow morning, not tomorrow, nope, Saturday, I guess tomorrow, <laughs> it is Friday now <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> um, Saturday morning or Friday evening, depending where you are in the world, you can catch me over on Tales of Pesh and a fantastic one-shot, the prelude one-shot to their campaign that's coming up in Eberron as we delve further into the frozen north of Eberron. Oh, thank you for the follow, thank you Kitty. And we will be joining Tales of Pesh. We are over there with an amazing cast. I keep like looking around like, why am I here? Um, we have Dreaded GM, Dead Aussie Gamer, AJ Winters from Winters Tales, an absolutely incredible cast, and it's an absolute joy to play with them as my Scouse, Goblin, Artificer, Warforged wannabe, Draza. Come and see how we fare in the frozen north. Things were quite dire at the end of last time, and we'll see how we go. Um, that is Saturday morning, Friday evening. If you are able to come and support us, please keep an eye on the Discord. If you have followed us, I will give a shout out there when we go live. And then that will bring us around to Saturday later on when we are joining our Candlekeep Mysteries folks playing another Arcane Library module with another chance to win said module um, as we jump in to the demon in the mirror. 
This is a fabulous, fabulous adventure taking place beneath the Elf Song Tavern in Baldur's Gate. Azara! Lithia! Not Lithia, sorry. <laughs> That's your sister. Sorry. That's my that's my alter ego sister. Indeed, well, indeed. There is a sister. There is a know? sister. Did I, you? Did I mention that Wild Beyond the Witchlight, the carnival will be on the outskirts of El Terrell as we start our Wild Beyond the Witchlight campaign? Oh. <laughs> um, the druid in Candlekeep Mysteries, um, Stephanie, cast um, um, Entangle, which is what you did in that same tavern when you were fighting your first fight in Descent You're into Avernus. Right. <laughs> I was like, yeah! Well, uh, <laughs> first ever awesome. fight in my first ever deep Yeah, yeah, they did. They cast the same spell in basically the same spot of the tavern as well. It was amazing. <laughs> but um, yes, That's do join us cool. for the wonderful Candlekeep Mysteries crew on Saturday, um, um, depending where you are in the world, at various points in the day. Then, next Tuesday, we'll be back up in Icewind Dale as our Frost Maiden crew delve deeper into the Netherese Tower out in the tundra. Then, Wednesday, I will see Esmeralda and Zenicus in Eberron, but no one else. Sorry. Um, and then, as we delve deeper into the city of Katz, Parabastet, Egyptian vibes to the fore. And then, um, on Thursday morning or Wednesday evening, we will be back in the Underdark for Out of the Abyss. Uh, fantastic! Catch the body if you can. Uh, just oh, the end of the end of today's was amazing, and that will bring us all the way back round through the mists to Ravenloft once more. Kitty Clements under so Clement just under the wire there into the um, draw for our prize today. Okay, everyone, going once, going twice. I'm closing the entries. Boop. Done. Okay, everyone. Best of luck. I hope you have a fantastic time like we have with the Night on Devil's Peak from Arcane Library. The winner for this evening is... Ta -da -da! Baron Dragonborn! One of our followers, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, and always good to see you, and congratulations. Enjoy! Hey, there you are. <laughs> congratulations. I hope you enjoy. It's a fabulous, fabulous resource. And um, if you are a DM or a player, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it either way. Congratulations, indeed. Um, do join us, as I said, Saturday, we have another chance to win an Arcane Library product, and all of our other streams are being very generously um, sponsored by the fabulous CZRPG. He is giving away a bundle of a huge amount of supplements that he has released, multiple, multiple bestsellers, platinum, gold, silver, on DM Skilled. Join us for all of our other sessions for the chance to win that fabulous bundle, because they are in the throes of a Kickstarter. Head on over there and give them the love that they are giving to us and vicariously onwards to all of you um, as uh, give them a fantastic follow. Funded in six hours, you're guaranteed to get it. It is an incredible bundle of encounters. You can use them as drop-ins, you can use them as one-shots, you can tie them together into a loose sandbox campaign type of thing. Beautiful maps, the work that they do is fantastic. There is a 60-plus page free PDF sample on the Kickstarter page. Head on over there. 14 days left. Thank you, Charlie. And throughout the entirety of that Kickstarter, we are giving away this huge generous bundle of theirs just shy of a hundred dollars worth of best-selling dms guild supplements so do enjoy and grab yourself a copy of those if you have the chance on our other streams um so i think that's everything ah. <laughs> talk too much but everyone stick around grab yourself some dream pies hot and toasty right out of the oven as we head on raiding and you can get yourself some of those channel points uh, to give our fine folks here inspiration and the like and we will head on over to let's see who's online um da -da 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 -da. okay so hmm okay yes our good friends in singapore fried dice paradise are playing um, some alien isolation. So, <laughs> they're trying to bribe some xenomorphs, xenomorphs apparently. <laughs> so, well, stick they're around they're for the raid. Their <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so, um, just stick around for the, uh, for the raid. Um, if you've got them, let those phoenixes fly. But we hope to see you all again very, very soon. Thank you so much for the supplements. Thank you so much for the um, cheers, for the bits, for the um, subscriptions and the follows. 
um, if you've followed us um, and this session, check your Twitch whispers soon as I'll give you that Discord invite over there as soon as we go offline later on. And as we like to say around these parts, <laughs> eventually. Oya <laughs> 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 Bye everyone. Oh, yeah, see you soon. <laughs> Sorry.